Yeah, I'm starting to think I should have replayed the first game before playing this, because the plot is a little bit weird to summarize, but basically... Oh god, it's been a while, but Alan Wake is an author. He goes to a town with his wife. They stay in a house. His wife mysteriously disappears. He's like, where wife? And then a series of unfortunate event events occur, and, and shit gets spooky. The town is in Maine, because of course it is. <laughs> and then at the very end of the game we find out that there's an entity that is using Alan Wake's writing ability to manifest things that are real and eventually it like imprisons him in the lake or something or the cabin I don't remember either way he's trapped And he's he's still he's still trapped at the end at the uh, during control, right? I never got to play the DLC because I could not navigate in control for the love of anything. It was awful. <laughs> but yeah, he he he's trapped in the darkness or the other world or something, and his his writing is being used to create things. But he's trying to figure out a way to write himself out of it. <laughs> Oh, yeah, don't they travel there because he has writer's block or something and he's trying to become inspired? The darkness was leaking out into the oldest house? That sounds right. Thank you for the 26 months, Ezreal! Thank you for the 13 months, Lurker! Thank you for the 64 months, and Lord Yoda! Thank you for the 7 months! Thank you, thank you! Herulean Hawk! Thank you for the 2 months! <laughs> I sound tiny? Like, I sound extra small? Chris, thank you for the five months, and jeez, thank you for the two months! Thank you, thank you! Rackney, thank you for the 20 months! Hold on, I'll, I'll find, hold on. Alan Wake 1 Summary. Actually, no. Alan traps himself in the dark place. He finishes Departure, the book he spent the whole game writing, and ends both the written and playable stories in one go. So he's trapped, because being trapped means that the, the darkness can't, like, do stuff? Or something? <laughs> they uploaded an official summary? That would be very helpful right now, actually. Was it kind of implied that, like, Alan wasn't directly responsible, but is not helping the situation in the in in control, or something like that? You're confused about the game. It's fine. It's fine. There's an entity that uses Alan Wake's writing to to manifest it, things into reality. Easy peasy. The first Alan Wake, yeah, they had American Nightmare, which was DLC. There's a theory he wrote Control to help himself. Oh. <laughs> uh-huh. Honestly, the thing I'm looking forward to most is hopefully a new old Gods of Asgard song. If there isn't one, I'm I'm gonna riot. I'm gonna tantrum. I'm gonna I'm gonna get upset. Da 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 da. thank you for gifting seven subs. Thank you, thank you. Da 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 da. Do I know how this will perform on my system? I mean, I launched the game and it ran. <laughs> it should be fine. <laughs> I hear it's well optimized, even though the demands are high. The, the it's because it looks pretty. Atiana, thank you for gifting us up to Kelly. Thank you, thank you. Da, 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 I want to move my chair, but Leon has decided to wedge. He has this really horrible habit of wedging himself under the sp like the the legs of the chair, so you can't move it at all. <laughs> Demands for City Skylines was high as well. Yeah, that's because it's badly optimized. There's a difference between titles that are badly optimized and 
not running well and titles that are specifically engineered with NVIDIA to showcase the latest technology, which is what this one is. Um, it's like, you know how Cyberpunk had uh, the new ray reconstruction and path tracing? This has it too. <laughs> no! No Warframe! <laughs> because Burbles, thank you for the 19 months. Thank you, thank you. How's Pikmin doing? He's doing okay. Da 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 But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna just chat for a little bit and then we'll get straight on to it because I have a sponsored segment. I am a true streamer. I am I am real. Re real streamer. <laughs> Atiana, thank you for gifting us up to multiple ten. Thank you, thank you. Limes Corpa. <laughs> da 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 it's funny, I was tidying my desk today, and I put everything away, and it was so good and so nice and tidy, and then I realized that half the stuff I put away I needed today. <laughs> so, okay, I'll, da I'll drag my controller back out and drag those wires back out. I did, Nick. I haven't played since because my mods broke. Hee <laughs> hee. Hashtag sponsored, hashtag get that bag. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> da, 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 da. Hey, I think I think I think I tend to keep what I get sponsored by to stuff that I genuinely like. Like I love Alan Wake. I'm very, very excited to play Alan Wake. And I actually, I have gamer subs next to me right now. I have some delicious gamer fart in a cup. Sipping on some gamer farts right now. <laughs> I've actually committed an abomination though. Don't tell gamer subs, but I've mixed two different cups. Like I've got the lid from one series cup on the body of another cup. It's it's disgusting, really. I'm just the worst. <laughs> Mix and matching your cup streamer? Disgusting behavior. <laughs> I gave myself legitimately good. I like it because I get the caffeine free version and there's like no calories in it. And it's also got a boatload of B12, which are all good things for me. And they taste pretty decent. I recommend if you don't like stuff, you, you know, when a lot of the time when you get like gamer drinks, they taste just like bubble gum. I, rec I recommend if you don't want that taste, I recommend um, Brand Risk and Gamer Fart. They're both quite mild. Titty milk is very mild too, yes. You're still waiting on Grandpa's Ashes, which you purchased while saving 10% off on your order using code LIMU? Wow! I hope they reach you soon. Ba -ba -da. Yeah, the, there's there's a grandpa's ashes flavor, and it genuinely kind of puts me off because when you when you add water, it it, it is gray. <laughs> there's so <laughs> it makes me feel a bit weird. <laughs> da 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 da. This music's really loud, hold on. I just realized it. It's capping out the compressor. There we go. Hi, Slay! What's up? Uh-oh. I don't know what music it's gonna go on to next. Hold on. Um...
Tech technically. Tech technically related. I don't know, dude. These poets of the Fall Guys have totally ripped off the old gods of Asgard. It's kind of fucked up, really. I can't believe they would do that. They took their entire sound. <laughs> they stole the vocalist's voice, yeah. Put it in a conch shell. Rendered him silent. <laughs> da, 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 da. Someone explain the joke, please. Um, Poets of the Fall did the music, like musical segments. So, um, uh, children of the elder gods take control, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. They did that music for Remedy under the the stage name, the Old Gods of Asgard. Which, in Alan Wake, was actually two old dudes that you meet in the cafe. It's, like, implied to be their music. <laughs> what were their there was one, one was called Thor. What was, was the other one just Odin? I don't remember. Okay, Odin and Thor, yeah. Yeah, every song I've played up until this point is in-game music from Alan Wake or Control. Noska, thank you for the nine months. Thank you, thank you. Oh, are they good live? I really enjoyed um Green Day live. They do a really good performance. Ba -da -da -da. Da -da 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 -da. Da, da, da. Did they break up? Let's go have a look. Oh, it's of the fall. Nope, they're still active. Active since 2003. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Are Alan Wake and Control connected? They are, yes. There was Alan Wake DLC for Control, in which it is implied that Alan may have written the hiss into existence. We're not... I'm not sure because I didn't play it because I couldn't... <laughs> I couldn't navigate worth a damn in Control. Like, genuinely, I got so fucking lost. <laughs> the hiss! The hiss! Not piss. Why are you like this? <sighs> <laughs> I can't I can't believe that Alan Wake invented piss. Da -da -da -da. Hi Dad Sensei! Da -da -da. Nice, Gridland, I'm glad to hear it. The uh, the simple answer is often unfortunately you have to pay for new hardware. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. But yeah, maybe maybe I'll go back to control and try it again. But you guys you guys will have to point me the directions to go, okay? Because I couldn't find anything. I was so lost. <laughs> It has a map. I can't read the map. It's weird. I struggle with it. Just read the signs. I'm possibly even worse at navigating in real life than I am in video games, which is impressive, to be honest. My directionally challenged streamer. Give us the playlist. Literally just Poets of the Fall. <laughs> That's all I've been playing. <laughs> ba -ba. Da -da 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 -da. No, that's not why I glow pop. Although that was disappointing. That's not why. Da -da 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 -da. 
<laughs> Does my poor sense of direction have any connection to Aphantasia? I don't know, maybe. I struggle, I struggle with, um... With Suica game, possibly because I can't, like, pre-plan where things are gonna go in my head. But that might not be Amphantasia, that might just be I'm just bad at it. <laughs> no fruit reading today? No, today we are sponsored Serious Corpus Stream. <laughs> I'm glad you like Lime's pathetic. It's a very good emote. <laughs> Alan, wake the fuck up, Samurai. <laughs> I need. To, I haven't even gotten to that point in in Cyberpunk where he even says that yet. <laughs> It's gonna be one of those situations where it's like, oh my god, he said that thing! <laughs> thank you so much for the four months! Thank you, thank you! Psychotic loser, thank you for the two months. Thank you very much. <laughs> is that line even in the game? I don't know, is it? Is it from the trailer and not actually in the game? Yeah, Aphantasia tends to, like, be- or sorry, I- I think, like, visual- visualization power varies a lot, and I would say that Aphantasia is the complete absence, but maybe I'm wrong. But yeah, some people can just legitimately envision a photorealistic apple in their head and turn it around and stuff. Some people can't visualize anything, it's just a black void. Other people can see, like, blurry, um... Uh, yeah, other people can see blur blurriness, things like that, or vague colors. Yeah, Johnny, it never it never happened. <laughs> How vivid are my dreams? I have nightmares, but I couldn't tell you specific pictures from them. When I'm trying to envision something, if I close my eyes, I can kind of, like, move my perception along what I want to envision, but if I tried to zoom out and envision the whole thing, it wouldn't work. Does that make sense? Da, da, da. Some people don't have an inner voice. Now, that's weird to me because I have nothing but an inner voice. Like, if I'm imagining something, it's actually just describing it with an inner voice in my head. <laughs> Sweet Potato, thank you for the 40 months. Thank you, thank you. And Colin, thank you for the 84 months at Tier 3. 8 million years, in fact, yes. Da, 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 da. So my dreams are like books. My dreams tend to be better. When I'm, it's, it's more so the like, you know, the process of daydreaming, that's a book for me. Oh, it's normal for it to not affect dreams? That's interesting. Da, 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 da. Does my inner voice sound like someone else? I've never really thought about it. Imagine aphantasia and no inner voice, no thoughts, head empty. <laughs> Mushroom, thank you for the two months. Thank you, thank you. Okay, let me... Let me get this show on the road. Hold on. Oh, hello, Little Roar. All right, let me change all my stuff around. Da -da -da. Da -da -da -da.
I don't remember what command I made it. Hold on. Is it this? Oh, thanks, Kovubot. It is. <laughs> Nicholas, thank you for the 29 months. Thank you, thank you. Branded content. Let viewers know if your stream features branded content. It does. Find to buy a 4080 just to get Alan Wake for free. That is a good financial decision. Yes. <laughs> All right. Games. Oh, my video card. Don't need that. All right, let me... I need to add. <laughs> I was... You know how I talk about how repurposing images means I get jump scared by the stuff... The stupid stuff that I show before? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Here we go. I'll pop this down here. Hell yeah. Where should I put it? Should I put it on my face? Put it there. I'll move it if I need to. Da -da -da. Your sleep paralysis demon. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. Where's my toggles, booze, controller? Where's Nyaru pad? I know what I'll do. I'll introduce more overhead to my stream. That'll be funny. Nothing could possibly go wrong doing that. Wait, it's my birthday? Oh. <laughs> Might need to move limes, but, but limes is a constant. Limes is immovable. Immutable. This is a hackerling song. I don't know this one. Okay. Is that everything I need? I think that's everything I need. I'm launching it! Hopefully it doesn't break. <laughs> It'd be funny if it broke. <laughs> I did test it. I did test it. It's honestly like the biggest fear I think of any streamer is like testing something and it all works great and then on the day it just goes to shit. <laughs> it's like, do you remember... Do you remember on... I think it was like the second to last... Um, the second to last... Uh, Vine Sauce Charity Stream? Actually, it might have been before then. Um, I did Casper, and I tested the hell out of that. I tested it so much, and it was rock solid. And then I started streaming it for charity, and it just was constantly <laughs> crashing. Uh, do you guys want to see the options menu? So far, like, I've been very pleased with how, like, snappy and responsive it is. Look at all the opportuns I have. Many opportuns. Am I going to end up... Oh, if they're shooting, I might end up playing with a mouse and keyboard, honestly. <laughs> Forgot about that. Look, here we go. Look at all these opportuns. I turned off motion blur for you guys because I know you hate it. Look... Hi, setting. Wait, shadow detail! <gasps> shadow detail tried to betray me. There you go. Uh, I'm not doing this on a controller. Option menus on controllers suck. And I've got ray reconstruction and path traced indirect lighting on for, for, for the most intensive experience. 
But, 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 as, as a precursor to this, um, Gigabyte were very kind and they sent me a beautiful new 4K monitor to play the game on. So, my display resolution is 4K! <gasps> It's it's freaking huge. This thing is gigantic. It's a 32 inch monitor. It's 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 pretty crazy. It's the uh, M32U, and I I love it. I love it. The colors are so nice. It's so vibrant. So I'm very I'm very 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 grateful for that because now I get to play Cyberpunks and Alan Wakes at high resolutions, which is very pleasing. Time to watch it 240p. Hell yeah, do it. <laughs> Yeah, no, considering all things considered, it's it's like pretty affordable. Like as monitors go, because I've seen ones that release that are like twenty five hundred dollars or something bonkers, but it's 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 nice. I get to view chat in high resolution. I do actually. I have chat turned up to like two hundred percent so that I get the top like uh resolution of emotes. They're so crisp and clear. <laughs> Yeah, no, this monitor, I think... Let me see how much it goes for at the moment. An M32U. Costs... Shopping. Oh, Leon, do not snort. Sweet Leon, puppy. It currently costs $6.99. On scan.co.uk. But yeah, no, I've had a really good time with it. Specifically in Cyberpunk, it's done so much to get rid of some of that weird painted look on the faces because it has like a higher resolution to start with, which is nice. So yeah, no, I'm very, very, very excited and very grateful. Um, what's the Hertz? It's a 144 Hertz because I, I cannot do. 699, what a deal. Yeah, no. You know what I meant. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a 4K 144 Hertz monitor. Which is really, really nice. Um, I did originally have a 240Hz monitor, like a 1440p one, and... I hate... <laughs> you know when people are like, I don't see the difference between 60 and 144 and I get all elitist on them? I feel like, I feel like I've, I've, I'm eating my words because genuinely I don't really feel the difference between 144 and 240. I'm sure, I'm sure if I had, like, something like League, on the same, on the, both those uh, refresh rates, and I could go back and forth rapidly between them. I would be able to tell, but I can't tell, like, after, like, a day. <laughs> yeah, I think there's, a, like, a heavy level of diminishing returns between, like, 144, 240, whereas I still insist that 6144 is huge. <laughs> <laughs> Your brain only runs at 12? <laughs> <laughs> but yes, so today we are going to be playing, hopefully, providing it doesn't crash horribly because I have terrible luck. Um, we're going to be playing with DLSS recon Reconstruction and uh, Path Tracing, which is, it's like a... It's, actually, it's hard to explain, but it basically takes... Um, it's like a combo solution that takes ray tracing stuff and makes it better. <laughs> <rare. laughs> I hate trying to explain it on the spot. Yes, it makes it it makes it better. -er. <laughs> so true, streamer. Um, and because of the performance hit that that requires, I'm using an RTX. An RTX card, specifically a 4090, to uh, use DLSS frame generation, because otherwise my frame rate would crater. Yes, be better our shadows, better our lighting, and good frame rate, in theory. Yeah, only a 4090. It's very achievable. Tufo, thank you for the 28 months. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Sammy, I'm using my 32, an M32U on an Ergotron, and it didn't require, because the Ergotron comes with, like, a bunch of different bracket options for weird, uh, form fact, or weir weird mounting brackets on the back of the monitor, but literally all I had to do 
is tore, I tore off the uh, the arm and shoved the Ergotron attachment on the back. I didn't need to change anything. It, it just worked. Smile. <laughs> Does VTube Studio use a lot? For perspective on how, on what the overhead of VTube Studio is, when I play Cyberpunk offline, I get roughly 105 frames per second, maybe dips into 90 or so, and like highs of 110. When I am streaming and running VTube Studio, I, I barely crest 60. It's usually about 65 frames. <laughs> like, the, the, the actual... The actual performance hit is bonkers. <laughs> I lose like 30 to 40 frames per second from, from streaming in VTube Studio. It's nuts. Yeah, that's fair, Gridline. Like, once, once OLED stuff kind of, like, gets its act together, that would be nice. My thing is, currently, the OLED offerings that you can get for desktop require so much babying. Like, they have, like, pixel refresh things that you're supposed to run to make sure that the burn-in doesn't get bad. And you're, like, there's all these guides on, like, optimizing the way that you present your desktop so that it doesn't actually, like burn in too badly because of all the static elements on a typical desktop. And, like, I don't want to have to worry about it. Like, <laughs> like that sounds like such a gigantic pain in the ass. <laughs> you know, OLED looks gorgeous. I have an OLED TV. It's beautiful. I don't think I'd want it on my desktop because I would hate to have to worry about all of those things. So I just, I just, I'm not bothering for now. Posture check. I am ergonomically seated in my, in my air on. I cannot sit any other way because it has a hard plastic rim on the chair and it would punish me. <laughs> but yeah, I'm pretty sure ray reconstruction and frame generation are both AI technologies in the... They, they essentially like take... Or I know that ray... Uh, sorry, um, frame generation is basically... It uses AI to generate more frames. A Aaron. <laughs> We're living in the future. Less tech talk? I'm sorry, this is a sponsored segment. I gotta do the tech talk, even if I fuck it up horribly. <laughs> Alright, let me go through the rest of the stuff and we will play video games. Yeah, I've, I've never been interested in HDR. That's another reason why I haven't bothered with OLED. Because HDR shits itself when you're streaming. Like, if you have HDR on and you stream, it makes your stream look awful. So I just haven't, you know, bothered. Here's a nudity sensor. I'm not going to enable it because I hate YouTube. <laughs> I found it interesting. This is really cool. Hyperacusis filter. Applies equalizer filters to decrease high-pitched sounds like bird calls, tire screeches, or machinery noises. These features would decrease frequencies over 1 kilohertz. K? K? Kihertz? Recommended if you have hyperacusis or when high-frequency sounds cause discomfort. I think that's kind of nice. Is that basically like tinnitus noises? Yeah. So, tinnitus noise reduction. Oh, yeah, no, I remember Disco Elysium was constantly like, eeeeee! <laughs> alright, 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 alright. I'm excited, I'm ready, I'm slightly nervous, let's go. Beginning. Hi, Alan. We all come to a story with hopes and expectations, looking for an answer. Sometimes it would be better to live with that hope without ever knowing the full story. In a horror story, there are only victims and monsters. And the trick is not to end up as either. But trapped by the genre, we are all ripped to pieces along the way.
This is not the story I hoped it would be. This is not the ending I wanted. This story will eat us alive. This story is a monster. And monsters wear many faces. This guy writes smut fanfics and they became reality? <laughs> yes, yeah, sure. Somebody has always used video in their games. I don't I don't really have a problem with it. Transition into gameplay? Hell yeah. Alright, hold on, the game's fucking loud. Also, I noticed that my hair is covering up the logo. Wait, what did I just move? It didn't move. Oh god, what did I grab? What did I grab? Do I... I guess I'll just turn down everything except... There. Ass. Swing the camera around. You guys are filthy! I just realized why. <laughs> well, you want that. <laughs> Swing your camera from side to side. Strategic on positioning. Uh, Can you hear me? Come on, everybody. Oh. Let's do the Mario. Come on, we should go. Hey. Hey. Hey, what the fuck? No, don't go. Well, heck, you too. <laughs> Can I crawl underneath this? No. Step up. Step up, step up, step up. You know what the really fun part is about streaming? When I play games like this and I have a light, like a giant, bright fucking light staring straight into my face. <laughs> I'm like squinting at it like, I can't see a goddamn thing. Why are we a naked creature? We're playing Gollum. You can sprint by toggling- oh, thank god. I mean, sprint- sprint- sprint is debatable. <laughs> Did that guy just say, oh fuck? I think I should play a mouse and keyboard. I don't know. Might be better. If they require me to shoot anything, I'm not gonna be able to do it with a controller. <laughs> hey! What's up? Oh, I can't get into the light. That's unfortunate. All right, let's go. Lights! Well, that's not good. Hey! Ah! They're 
you're shooting at me. Titles for the cultists. So I assume we're not meant to really be able to understand them, but you kind of can. Like, I swear to God, that guy just said, Where's the rest of the stuff? And then at the end, they went, Let's go, let's go! Did they just say, My cock, my cock? That seems unlikely, that particular one, I'm gonna say. <laughs> Alan! <laughs> Very good. What's the name of this game? I'm not sure. They haven't told us yet. Hey, kiddo. How are you? I'm good, Mom. How are you? This trip might take a little longer than I thought. I'm sorry I've been gone so much lately, Logan. Oh my god, Mom, it's not your fault. People get all murdery. <laughs> what happened? Just work stuff. Right. Well, Dad and I are just watching the latest episode of Night Springs here. Mom, it's so good. No spoilers. I'll let you get back to Kinda the Kind of want the Shining theme to, to play over this. Me. I love you both. This is what happens when you go on work trips, Mom. Love you too. And say hi to Casey. Tell him to stop brooding so much. Logan? I will. Bye, kiddo. Logan thinks you should try cheering up. <laughs> Snarky kid. Wonder where she gets that from. Simultaneous coffee drinking. Steampunk Willy, thank you for the 26 months. Thank you, thank you. body turns up just as we arrive in town. Feels like the killer's leaving us a message. I'm glad you're on this case with me, Anderson. You should take lead. Think of me as the backup. Okay. Any words of advice? Nothing that would cheer anyone up. One thing I am noticing immediately, and hopefully I don't eat my words, is that it doesn't have the facial, like, painterly ghosting thing that Cyberpunk Cauldron does. Lake. Time to get to work. Although I did just notice the car just vibrate. A deputy was supposed to be here to show us to the crime scene. There's the car, so where's the deputy? <laughs> Eaten by a bear? I'll check out that map. <laughs> Eaten by... <laughs> Jesus Christ. Invitation! Uh, worth memorizing before we get swallowed up by the truth. I'm glad... <laughs> <laughs> that my monitor is so big, it's it's just sort of like my my like whenever a word pops up, I'm like <gasps> <laughs> Map. Did I did I just get an achievement for finding a map? <laughs> okay, there I am. You okay there, buddy? No. Yeah. Just a chat member, thank you for the four months. I think I hear someone. 
Could be our deputy. I can go take a look. I'm gonna play with controller right up until it makes me shoot something and then I'm gonna get annoyed at it. Although if it has a lock, I don't really need mouse and keyboard. Hey there. Can I game without my glasses or contacts? No, legitimately cannot see a thing. said you'd be coming by to take over the case. You're half right. Game is very pretty. Saga Anderson, I'll be leading this case. Seems you already know my partner, Alex Casey. Shoot. Sorry about that, ma'am. I'm Deputy Mulligan. I just figured that, you know, that, uh... What did you figure, huh? Federal agents right here, Thornton. My partner, Thornton, <laughs> down at the crime scene. He's not what you call the sharpest. This is actually the shit. medium size of subtitles, so they're very big by standard. Which I honestly quite like. Uh, what can you tell us about the crime scene? Tell them about the heart. I was getting to that, Thornton. <clears throat> well, we reckon there are some uh, organs that are currently outside the victim's person. <laughs> they should be, but you know, inside. Yeah. Were there any witnesses? Yeah. Couple out of towners. I wonder what they were doing sneaking around the woods at night. Looking. Not that we have anything against city folk, cried Thornton. But don't worry. Sheriff Breaker took him back to town a while ago. I want to see the body. How do we get there? Oh, sure. That's real simple. Just through the hole in the fence, down the hill towards the lake, around the old convenience store. You can't miss it. What? Everything's been closed since the area was I feel off. like that's quite easy to the miss. Store, the campground, all of it. They got it, Thornton. Goddamn Thornton. The faces look really good, though. Like the animation on this guy is is awesome. I like I like his uh his tumbler nose. Shut up, Thornton. They can still hear you. I'm just saying. You know I'm usually a calm person. Yoga, three times a week. <laughs> These goddamn city folk always think they know everything. Uh -huh. It's on my fucking nerves. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. For fuck's sake. <laughs> fucking Thornton. All right, you ready? Before we get to the crime scene, there's time to review the facts of the case so far. Make sure I'm seeing the clues clearly. You can access the case board inside the Mind Palace. <laughs> Alright, Sherlock, let's go. The Mind Place. Oh, Mind my Place, even. My bad. Technique. Oh, it's- wait, this no, it is a Mind Palace! The case. Building the Mind Place again for each case. Using each field office as a model in my head. Genuinely, the face there actually the looked like board. like film. That was that was pretty cool. Everything we know about the previous murders. Hey. Worth taking another look. Uh, mental techniques allow Saga to analyze clues and progress the investigation. Or progress even. You can use left trigger and right trigger to zoom. Series of murders occurred around the town of Bright Falls. Finding the connections will help our search for the killer. Imagine all of the hyper HD apples this lady can imagine. Jeez, you're not wrong. <laughs> Floating only commonality in bodies, not the cause of death. No, no, no. I, I want to look at this. Yeah. Post-mortem tattooing, bruising, heart missing, bloating. Head lane, dentist, stab wounds, bruising on the wrists, bloating. 
Hmm. Okay, so there's the map. Ooh. This place is pretty. Thank you for the 300 bits. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I just realized something that I have fucked up horribly. Hold on. Because I am dumb. Give me a sec. Am I playing the mod that replaces all the photos and the frames with pictures of ferrets? That's a thing? <laughs> Hold on. I hope this doesn't screw anything up because really I shouldn't be doing this like this, but never mind. It's fine. Uh, yeah, I know I'd, I'd mess something up, but we're good, we're good. Oh no, I actually hear that the lowest settings for this game look good. I do have to restart it though. Any unsaved progress will be lost. How much progress do you think is unsaved? We don't know. We're about to find out. I will do a I will do a comparison for you though. Give me a second. We're cloud sinking. I'm stereo. Thank you for the 91 months. Thank you. Thank you. It should hopefully just save us in the mind palace. Oh, no. All right. A deputy was supposed to be here to show us to the crime scene. There we go. There's the car. Hold so on. Where's the deputy? Let me sprint it. Running it down. Oh wait, map. Map, 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 map. I'll check out that map. You're the one who wanted to switch. I think I hear someone. I'm not walking all the way back. Could be our deputy. Hey, Alan return. Hey there. Agent Casey, right? Oh, you know, BG3 is like Constantly fails to cloud sync for me. Half, right? Anderson. Saga Anderson, I'll be leading this case. Seems you already know my partner, Alex Casey. You don't like the size of the subtitles? Because I can Sorry turn them down. I, I'm Deputy Mulligan. I just figured that, you know, that, uh... I got the extra dialogue. You mean where Thornton starts yelling about the out-of-towners? Federal agent's right here, Thornton. My partner, Thornton. <laughs> Did you can... let me see, this is... <sighs> Where were they? Oh, interface probably? This is small subtitles. Down at the crime scene. He's not what you call the sharpest axe in the shed. Is that better or worse? Wait. What can you tell us about the crime scene? Wait, so if that was medium and this is small, what does large look like? <laughs> I was getting to that, Thornton. <clears throat> well, we reckon there are some, uh, <laughs> Grande subs. Things that are currently outside the victim's person when they should be well you know inside were there any witnesses yeah a couple out of towners 
I wonder what they were doing sneaking around the woods at night. Not that we have anything against city folk, cried Thornton. But don't worry. Sheriff Breaker took him back to town a while ago. I want to see the body. How do we get there? Oh, sure, that's real simple. Just through the hole in the fence, down the hill towards the lake, around the old convenience store. You can't miss it. <laughs> Everything's been closed since the area was fenced off. The store, the campground, all of it. Yeah, I realized because I updated my graphics card drivers for this game, uh, FreeSync was off. Before we get to the crime scene, I was spinning the camera in the study and I saw it tear, and I was like, "No!" Make sure I'm seeing the clues clearly. All right, back to the case board. The mind place, my version of the mind palace technique, to sift through clues and work the case, building the mind place again for each case, using each field office as a model in my head. The facts are on the board. Everything we know about the previous murders. Worth taking another. But yeah, look. I can turn I can turn off the the nice settings in here, and we can take a look. The mind palace, yeah. Let's have a look. Graphics. I'll turn off the... Oh, Jesus. Takes a setting a second for everything to, like, figure out what they're doing. Oh, Jesus! I see you're already hard No, hard let me back into my mind palace! Thank you. Okay, yeah, no, that's a... <laughs> that's a fair bit of difference lighting-wise, holy shit. <laughs> I'll toggle that again. I mean, it still looks really nice because the game is nice. We're missing dialogue. I'm sorry, I'm too busy mind palacing. Let me... Turn it all back on for you. Stop kicking me out of my mind palace. Oh no, I broke it permanently. Ruh row. Oh, that's interesting. Shadow detail gets turned off if you do that. Every time I leave the options menu, it kicks me out of my mind palace. I don't appreciate it. Yeah, that's the difference. So where, where do you think the setting is for... Oh, sorry, where do you think the save is? Because <laughs> it kicked me out. God damn it. Give me my volumetric lighting back. There we go. Yeah, where's the auto save? We don't know. When you graduate from 160p, are you are you watching on your Game Boy? Why now? Look, Anderson, you're a better detective than I am. You've cracked cases that had the rest of us baffled. I don't want to slow you down. Are you thinking of retiring? Game Boy Advance? Whoa. You know what to cops who say this is their last case. Mm -hmm. <gasps> funny, Anderson. They're going to kill Casey! Stairs are out. 
You okay to jump down? I'm not that old. Mm. Oh. Wait, this is the jump she was referring That is actually genuinely disrespectful. <laughs> that's not even a jump, that's a hop. The mighty mountain in the distance is no other than Mirror Peak, the iconic landmark overlooking Cauldron Lake. From the right angle, its beauty will be reflected on the calm surface of the lake, mirrored in all of its inverted glory. Calm surface! Well, there goes my monetization. Genuinely, like, looking at some things, like the back of the jackets and stuff like that, it is very, like... Film-esque. bad place to get murdered. Hmm. If getting back to nature is your thing. Like, the softness of the lighting is pretty crazy. Damn. Should have brought an umbrella. I like the rain. The only thing around here that feels like home. You think the local law had this? I got rain on my camera. Do you see it there? If they did, no. Next coffee's on me. The game should be twenty-four FPS. If I turn off, <laughs> if I turn off frame generation, it probably would be. To be honest. <laughs> What? Hey! Hey! Deputy Thornton, I take it. Double checking. That's me. Was That's this place service. not Where fucked in the first off. Alan Wake? I don't remember how much was screwed. Come on, I'll show you. Like, was this place intact? So. Yeah, Bright Falls is is where Alan Wake went missing. That's so cool. Hunting down psycho serial killers and shootouts with the mob. You forgot the UFO cover-ups. What? Those are real? <laughs> you guys hiring? Oh, he's Let's just see this body, shall we? We're just outside Bright Falls, I see. No, I love the or original Alan this Wake. This is the scene of the crime. <gasps> we found him on the table. And we didn't touch nothing. You know, procedures and stuff. He has shrunk. Thanks, deputy. No tarp. You owe me a coffee. Okay. Let's start by examining our guest of honor. Does this fit the MO of the previous murders? He's bloated and his chest cavity got murdered. Step one. Examine the corpse. I'm- I'm examining. Oh, I needed to Body's examine from this side. <laughs> on the table. Ritualistic. You unlocked your first key image. You can place it on the case board inside the mind palace. Wait. <laughs> if I put the nudity filter on, is he wearing a pair of, like... heart boxers or something? Up allows Saga to see active clues. The key image can be selected with A and placed on the case board. Another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Coincidence? <laughs> Placing a key image on the board begins a new line of investigation. Another body's been found low. It's near Bright Falls. Perfect timing. Need to see if this is linked to the killings we're here to investigate. When a key image plays, it will prompt a new question. Objectives are viewable in the case board in your goals. Okay. Oh, we're back in here again. I don't like this thing. He creeps me out. I actually, I have to experiment with it. I'm so sorry. 
<laughs> uh, do you guys remember where the setting was? Is it down at the bottom here? No. No, I can't turn it off while I'm in the game. <laughs> I wanted to see. <laughs> and collect clues in the body to progress the investigation. Inside stab wound. Chest cut open. Heart removed. The killer left the heart right next to the body. Bruising on the wrist from the cargo straps holding him down. Zoom. Clues available. Newly discovered clues can be placed onto the open question. Oh. I don't remember how to get my clues. Oh, wait, up. There we go. Okay. Chest trauma? And cargo straps? Oh, does that not work? I guess these are not consistent. Wait, oh yeah, because hold on. Where was the rest of the board? Wait, you killed the rest of the board? Fuck. This is consistent with previous killings. Yeah, it is. Cases isn't working. Oh, do I have to actually specifically put it there? I do. Okay. <laughs> Heart removed from chest. Strapped by the wrists. Definitely matches the previous murders. But this time the heart and the straps were left behind. More clues to work with. I'm fixating on her pores. Four murders that we know about. The plot so far, legitimately, Alan Wake did some like Alan Wakeish narration. We woke up and we were a nude guy that emerged from a lake. Then we got murdered, and now we're a detective investigating the the murder. The clues have resolved the open question, and unlocked a deduction. As you advance your investigation, new questions will be unlocked, updating your goals. You can update, check the updated goals by pressing Y. Find evidence. Talk to someone. <laughs> Who is our victim? Who killed him? Need to find more clues. Large amount of blood on the table. Mm. The victim died here. Multiple people were here. Multiple killers? Any idea who the victim is? Oh, I sure do. His name is Nightingale. He was FBI. He came to town about 13 years ago. Now, I haven't heard a word about him since. Well, until now. Nightingale? Robert Nightingale? Oh, yes. You probably knew him. Brothers in arms. Oh, and sisters. Thanks, dude. <laughs> Someone was drinking beer. They spent time here, waiting. Wait, 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 It's the detective from the first game? I was trying to figure out why his name sounded familiar. Did he look like that in the first game? I don't remember him looking like this in the first game. Someone left in a hurry. Knocked the tripod over. Was it for a camera? He probably had more clothes on? That's true. So you knew our victim. Well, I didn't recognize him in his current state. But yeah, I ran into him a few times at Quantico. Never worked any cases together. After his partner got killed in the field, he went off the deep end. Got the boot pretty quick after that. <laughs> so what happened to Nightingale after the Bureau let him go? I only know the rumors. Depression led to booze, booze led to paranoia. He got some wild ideas in his head, chased ghosts until he fell off the map. 
Guess he ended up here. I bet there's more to that story. But no happy ending. Nightingale went missing 13 years ago. 2010. The same as all the other victims. Certainly fits the pattern. Makes me wonder what was going on that year. Probably something this town wants to forget. Is he okay? <laughs> Yeah, I remember him now. Casey Nightingale went off the deep end. FBI fired him. The victim. I trust Casey's read on people. Sounds like our victim wasn't mentally stable. So wait, the first Alan Wake happened 13 Robert years ago? Ex-FBI came to Bright Falls 13 years ago. Blood splatter on the table. I mean, that's technically not related to this, but no, no, it does. <laughs> Boot prints indicating multiple killers. Quite the party. Premeditated or spontaneous? Remedy games always take place in the year they, they release. Wait, Alan Wake came out 13 years ago? <gasps> but wait, 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 question. What happens if they have to delay long enough? That it came that this game came out in 2014 instead, but all the dialogue said 13 years. Would they just deal with that? That's it. Re record all the voices. <laughs> they planned for the murder to happen here, passing the time with equipment ready. <clears throat> they were waiting for him. But why Nightingale? He's been missing for 13 years. Why here? Why now? Where did the victim come from? Profiling. Get into the subject's head. See what they saw. Feel what they felt. Use whatever I know about them to guide my intuition to a revelation. Piece it together. You can use profiling inside Saga's mind place to get inside the heads of suspects, suspects and victims. <clears throat> Wait, what's that? This mug always cheers me up. Not the worst mom. <laughs> oh. Using her intuition, Saga can discover new clues by profiling people of interest. Agent Nightingale has been MIA for 13 years. How did he end up here? Up from the lake that's not a lake. It's dark. He was there too. You are not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. Robert Nightingale came from the lake before his murder. Wait, it's not intuition if Nightingale's demonic voice tells you. <laughs> Nightingale was chosen as the victim. Why? Click the switch. It goes click. Lights are off. But somebody's home. Somebody's home. This wasn't some random act of violence. This was a ritual. And Nightingale a component. They didn't see him as a person. More like a container for something. <laughs> uh, hmm. Oh, I can quick switch. That's cool. Oh, I still I still need to profile. I don't have anything left to profile. Hmm. Oh, victim came from. 
came from Cauldron Lake. I can feel that Nightingale came from the lake, but why now after 13 years? Where has he been? Wait, what do you mean if I'm not playing through this game? Do you mean finishing it? I'm absolutely finishing this game. It's Alan fucking Wake. <laughs> oh, thank you, Macaque. I appreciate it. Up from the lake that's not a lake. The lake is connected to Nightingale somehow. Casey, let's take a look down by the lake. Lead the way. Sounds good. Uh, this way, right? Right. Well, okay. Well, I'll just uh, real time I'll reflections. This one of your hunches, Anderson? Did something happen at the lake? I think Nightingale came up from that direction. From a lake. Probably looking for shelter. Safety. They were waiting for him. When you're ready, I'd love to hear what you put together so far. I mean, Kingdom so Come I, is potentially like one of those games that, that lasts for hundreds of, hour, hundreds of hours. Nightingale this campaign is probably less than 20. Possibly noon. The killers knew he was here. Ambushed him. RTX Dragged on! Dragged him to the campgrounds. Strapped him to the table. Cut his heart out. But then they were interrupted by those witnesses, the bookers. The job is unfinished. That seems pretty complicated to me. What was this guy doing skinny dipping at this time of year? I haven't figured that part out yet. Why can I go up here? Mm. Bye, Casey. Lots of answers. Later, nerd. I'm gonna go check something out. Be right back. Got it. The witch's hut. Here lives the witch of Cauldron Lake, but where her spirit may still haunt this place. Oh. <gasps> Fucking dork in here. I close the door on myself? <laughs> Good. That's what I wanted. <laughs> yeah, not a whole lot in here. Why isn't she holding her flashlight? Can I have a flashlight? I'd love a flashlight. Wait, I found it! You have to press B. Ooh. B for flashlight, yes. Controllers don't have an F key! B for better get some light on this bitch. Yeah, that's what it stands for. Friday, Midge told me that today her family's moving away. This sucks. Wait, how the frick is this thing intact? It's 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 paper and it's raining. And we didn't told her that I like her yet. What's the point anymore? She said her parents want to get better jobs and get her to a better school in a big city. I guess that's fair. Who wants to stay in bright fucking falls? Sunday, so I told her she said thanks fucking kill me. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> My 
Monday, I snuck out last night again. Went to the big house by the lake instead of just watching it from here like I always do. Instead of just sitting around like I always do. Screw that. Anyway, something weird is going on down there. I'm going to find out what. Going back there tomorrow with better gear. I bet I can find a way inside the building. Take some photos. It's going to be epic. I've seen people write like that before. <gasps> Look at the rays coming through the trees! Yeah, I just stole from those people. Or that person. That's interesting. The flashlight doesn't work if the game decrees that it's not dark enough to, to, <laughs> to warrant one. Hey, Casey, what's the forest's favorite shape? Please, Anderson, just one case without the ridi- A triangle. I don't get it. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> Can't go any further. Levens if I try. Deep. <laughs> what's this? What's this? <gasps> More batteries! Yoink! My batteries now. Still not dark enough. <laughs> Ready. Uh, very occasionally eccentricity, but not enough to bother me. It's better than the f the the face ghosting that happened before. Good to see you still in one piece, Anderson. Oh Forest shit! This can be a dangerous place. Hey, what's going on? Thank you so much for gifting a sub. Thank you, thank you. Why do I keep hearing small explosions? <laughs> I didn't know trees got that big. That is a big fucking tree. The creeps. You need to get out more. No, he's right. That's a gigantic fucking tree. A witch with no heart. A strange echo of owl murder. Hmm. There's no mystery in Cauldron Lake being named being named after its cauldron shape, and yet there are many mysterious stories about the lake. Almost one. Thank you for the hundred bits. It being a gloomy doorway to the underworld, or a, of a witch whose cauldron the lake really was. The legend tells that when the affections of the local sheriff went unanswered, he accused the lady in question of having bewitched him. She was drowned, but he, her dropped ladle grew into a strange tree named the Witch's Ladle. The woman returned to avenge her wrongdoers. If she was not a witch before, she was one now. She killed the sheriff, drowning him in the lake. Then she took out his heart and locked it in a box. With the heart, she would summon him from the lake to exact revenge on her behalf. Or so the legend goes. So they have all these informational things around, presumably for tourists. Who the fuck is coming here as a tourist thing? It's awful here. Oh. There's a piece of paper on the ground. Is it an Alan Wake story? Zoom in. Are you, are you not going to tell me? Okay. Tracks. Barefoot. Nightingales? They come out from under the boulder. It makes no sense. This looks like it might be part of, uh... Alan's story, I can't tell. 
Oh, okay. <clears throat> I said to back out. A page full of text on one side. Not a printout. Written with a typewriter. Old school. Lines scratched out and edits added with a pen. Mm hmm like a manuscript. A page of a story. Hmm, the killer left a message. It's for us. The text is about us. The victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. Alan, can you stop writing for one fucking second? The first step down into terrifying depths. Thank you Reading for the 30 months. Words. Thank you, thank you. These words felt like a message. Felt like a message. Someone knew they were here. Someone playing a game with them. An invitation. How could they not accept, even if they knew it would end up hurting them? Someone's been watching us. Jesus Christ! Came with us. You were right. <laughs> I keep this getting right jump skipped by the achievements. Came this way. It done a dot. Thank Even you for giving the gift to us of just sounds. Thank you, thank you. I should profile Nightingale about this page. Whoop. I still don't like this. Why? 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 <clears throat> why is? Why is this place got this creepy ass moose deer reindeer thing? Oh wait, what's this? Miss you, kiddo. No, I'll cute. be home soon. We found a page in the woods. A story about these events. What is Nightingale? Is the volume on the game okay, by the way? I carry his words close to my chest now. Inside. The awful truth. You must dig it Cool, out. cool, cool. Hi, Yoshi. Something was put inside him. What? In his chest. I must find out what. Her deductions are crazy. I think he came from the lake, but his tracks make no sense. <laughs> I don't know. She, yeah, she's using speak with the dead or something. <laughs> AC, I think something's been put inside Nightingale's body. Yeah, AC. Let's tell the deputies to get the body to the town morgue. Okay. Uh... Reading the words, these words felt like a message. Found all I can here. Time to properly examine the body. See what I can find inside. Um. Okay, I guess we just walk all the way back? Ask a deputy to move the body. Gotcha. Thank you for the 110 months in tier two. Holy frick! Like a scene from a thriller. That's a long ass time. Thank you. The text said we'd find more. I believe it. But what's the purpose? They're twisting events to create their own narrative. To do what? Entertain some fantasy? Projecting their desires? Are we characters or the audience? Witnesses to their design? All the above? It's all about control. Deciding what happens to who. 
Control, you say? Too late. <laughs> I'm already hooked. I need the next chapter. Stuck in any of those big puddles. Crazy flooding down there, huh? Just like I said. Deputy, I want the body taken back to town for a proper examination, ASAP. Well, sure, but the coroner won't be back in town for another week after Deerfest. Not a problem. I'll do it myself. Oh, and Sheriff Breaker called to say he's got the bookers at the Oh Dear Diner in town. Oh, and I've got a key. To the gate, it's a shortcut back to the parking lot just up the hill. Thanks. Yoink. Thanks. Let's get the car, drive to Bright Falls, and talk to these witnesses, the bookers. Do you think I, Odin and Thor will be in I, here? I, I could use a cup of coffee. Let's try that shortcut the deputy mentioned. Sounds good. Seems like a nice town so far, murders aside. What do you mean, words. seems like a nice town? You haven't the even been to the town. <laughs> we should go for a hike if we get a chance. Oh, apparently we have been to the lodge, we just not played it yet. Deputies aren't exactly up to the task, but hopefully the sheriff will be more helpful. Not a surprise about the deputies. Doubt they oh god, if it's been 13 years, they might be dead. <laughs> Rick, thank you so much for subbing. Thank I'll you, thank you. Roger. I'm exploring. Is that a kid's lunchbox? Oh. An Alex Casey movie lunchbox. Casey Have hates a heroic the day. jokes about coincidentally having the same name as a fake detective. <laughs> he hates those cheesy crime books. But he really hates the movies. Hmm. Can be used to... Wait, manuscript, frag, manuscript fragments can be used to upgrade weapons in the mine... What? <laughs> oh. I see. <laughs> I lost patience with my controller already. Just gonna unplug it. <laughs> I would I would leave it plugged in, but it started vibrating. No, I just mean if it's sitting on my desk and it's gonna vibrate every time something happens, then you're just gonna Can't hear the blues all together yet. Heart removed, tripod, tracks leading to a dead end. A tripod for a camera to record a snuff film? Maybe. <laughs> Casey, no. Point, just to throw it away. To stuff in something for us to find. Oh god, the jumping in BG3, like, viscerally upsets me. I can't remember 
but who is it that does the face and voice for Alan Wake? Also, did they ever explain why the doctor and Here control look like Alan? Let's drive back to town and meet the sheriff at the diner. Press 1 to Bright Falls. Face is Sam like I can't okay. get that manuscript page out of my head. I've never seen killers reach out so directly before. Damn impressive work so far. With your technique, these hunches were moving fast. I wasn't sure about taking a case so far from home, but I'm thrilled to be here for this mystery. Need to swing by the lodge to get anything from the field office? No, I'm all set. I'll park there anyway. I want to walk to the diner. My Yoon he is so cute. He's been here the whole time. He's been very good and quiet. He's snoozling. The diner's just up the waterfront. Shouldn't keep the sheriff and our witnesses waiting. I smell coffee. <laughs> I smell coffee. <gasps> Look at that real-time reflection, chat. Look at that tree moving. Damn, dude. Hey there. Hi. RTX on. You think turning RTX off destroys the tree? We find out. I can actually turn the quality preset all the way to low for you. We can find out. Hey, I just called you nice and quiet. 210 spoons! Thank you for the two months. Thank you, thank you. Oh, there's, there's just straight up no puzzle, puddle if I turn it off. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> okay, then. I mean, even then, it still looks nice. Like, even with all the options low, the game still looks really good. Now I gotta turn everything back on again. Off we go. Hold on. Hi. 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 That's everything, right? <laughs> Hi, chat. How you doing? It's back! Puddle! What do you know? Thank you for the 16 months of tier 3! Thank you, thank you! Oh, I missed the volumetric spotlights? Apologies. We, we couldn't possibly continue without the volumetric spotlights. For some reason, that's not included in the high-quality preset. There. With everything on it is really pretty. Flooded. <gasps> Look at that reflection! Whoa! I'm gonna go check something out. Be right back. Got it. That concludes our debate on whether pets should be allowed at this year's bake sale. <laughs> For those of you... Just tuning in, you're listening to the Wasn't Pat, Pat made in the first game? Hour, brought to you by Davis Family Moose Jerky. And boy, what an eventful day here in Bright Falls. By now, we've all seen the FBI setting up shop in town, and I'm 
sure you're all asking the same question I am. Did they bring all this darn rain with them? <laughs> Beer Fest is right around the corner, and we're all crossing our fingers for sunshine. So I reached out to our top meteorologist for a weather update. Was Deer Fest in the first game? Why does that sound so familiar? Uncle Tapio on the line from Watery. Tapio, are you there? Yes. <laughs> Great. And Tapio, what kind of weather can we expect today? Rain. Uh, that definitely seems to be on the menu. Thanks, Tapio. How about over the next week? Also rain. Right. The guy's been like figuring out his selfie for so goddamn long. Is Tapio like the groundhog? Is coming, rain or shine. And that parade lineup is looking dandy as ever. Yes, I like this parade. It is there. One fold in a shot. He's vibrating? Yeah, he is. It's like a ruinous shot. Racing for the mute. You look sad. <laughs> I like how these guys are having to do like mascot stuff for an entire, pretty much entirely empty Welcome street. Back, Anderson. Why do you hate me? Which way am I supposed to be going? Because I want to ignore it. Any interesting yeah, no, that's not Poets of the Fall. Any good finds? Zilch. But someone left to grow a surprise under their bed for housekeeping. They're nuts. Like, so, oh my god, second. someone Actually, left a gross let's... surprise under their bed for Either housekeeping? Or the couple on their honeymoon. When you guys said nothing of what happens in this town, you were kidding. Not on the surface. Or in the public eye. Question. Mercetta won't roll over on the issues. I forget. For, um, during the actual events of Alan Wake 1, you know how, like, everything went to shit and basically every everything was haunted and terrible? How much of that was actually real? Because I don't remember, because there's there's plenty of people who aren't dead now, so... Presumably, not all of it. <laughs> God, this game looks so freaking pretty. How's that mystery business of yours going? We missed you at trivia night. You did. Oh. They've had time to repopulate? Yeah, everyone here looks like they're under 13. Did you get lost? Oh, it got Anderson? rewound? I didn't remember that. I should have replayed the How first game. How coffee have you had today, Charlie? <laughs> Don't know, don't care. <laughs> <laughs> how much have you had? Not enough. That's how much. Never enough coffee. I love oh, coffee. Rich, bittersweet nectar. Get it in coffee world. Get it where you can. Get it now. Jesus, <laughs> Charlie. Not to toot my own horn, but I am pretty darn sure my... <laughs> I mean, oh, <gasps> is that the old dear diner? Oh my god, it's the old dear diner! Let's go to the old dear diner! Yeah! <gasps> Hi. Let me guess. The FBI. Welcome to Bright Balls. It's nice to have you here. 
I got you both some coffee. Oh, it's Washington's finest. Is that Bobby Drake? Nice to meet you, Sheriff. Oh, wait, no, is it I'm Sean from the 4400? No, I wouldn't say no to another. I'm Agent Saga It's one Anderson. of the two. This is Agent Alex Casey. Tim Breaker. And let me just say, I'm happy you two are here. Frankly, we could use the help. I recognize you. Your deputies said you had a couple of witnesses here. They made them sound like suspects. Sean Ashmore, well, is that Bobby Drake? Drake? About that? No, no, the bookers don't strike me as the murdering type, but you can decide It is Bobby Drake. Very recognizable. To calm their nerves. I'll see what they have to say. You wonder how he Is guessed that we're FBI? I couldn't possibly Take begin to time. speculate. We've looked through the case files. Fine, I'm gonna go sheriff. look at the diner. Have you had many people besides the known victim? Yo, dear diner. Do you think they still have the lime and the coconut jukebox? That totally gets you DMCA'd if you play it? Oh, look, it's here. I'm gonna touch it. You can't stop me. Wait. No, the jukebox is out of order. The poor old thing could only take so much of the same song being played over and over. I'm a big fan of coconut. I'm as big a fan of coconut as the next person, but come on. <laughs> no. They couldn't get the rights to do life with the coconut. <laughs> You put the lime in the coconut, you drink it all up, you put the lime in the coconut. Hello? Shit. What's the button for flashlight on mouse and keyboard? Help. Let's press random buttons till it works. B. F. V. C. X. Y. N. M. Nope. L. O. P. I. U. Y. T. H. G. R. E. It's E! Dear Ed! I said, Doctor, there ain't nothing I can take. I said, Doctor. Hey there, Mr. Dear. Why are you. No! You remind me of a dream I had. Uh, don't touch it, that's weird. Corridor go all weird with my bare hands. Oh, toilet. Wait, why is that toilet so wide, bro? That's fucking huge. I would fall in. Is this normal for American toilets, or did they just do something really weird? It's missing the seat? No, it's not. You can see the seat. It's like absolutely there. It's normal. It's insane. Okay, cool. Thanks for letting me know, guys. <laughs> Wait, the mirror doesn't work. Wait, it kind of does? I think the mirror is just kind of fucked. Ooh. It won't open. I have no idea how big American toilets are now. Hi. God, the lighting, the lighting in this game is obnoxiously pretty. It's actually quite, it's, it's bonkers. Wait, wait, are Odin and Thorin here? No. No. Did I not use the toilet while in America? Not really very many public ones. Also, I haven't been to America in... Oh, hey! Excuse me. I'm Agent Saga. In like a decade, so I don't really remember the toilets. That's us. I'm Tammy, and he's Ed. Hello, officer. Just Saga is fine, Ed. So, are we being charged with anything? Because if not, we'd love to get back to our hotel and decompress after what we saw. Take a bath, screw into pillows, that kind of thing. We're not charging you. I just have a few questions. Nothing to stress about, okay? I remember a bunch of the plot of the first game. What were you doing at Colgen late last night? I'm a writer. True crime. 
We're here from New York, doing some research <laughs> on a famous novelist, Alan Wake, who went missing here. <gasps> down at the lake, getting some details. Perfectly legal. So what did you see? She said the thing. This naked dude came out of the lake, and he was acting crazy, shouting weird shit at us. He must have been on something. Unless skinny dipping at dawn is a thing around here. Then we heard shooting. We ran into these psychos in deer masks. They were tearing into the naked guy with knives, like some kind of satanic cult. Tree cult, actually. And then we bolted and called the cops. Why did you think it was a cult? What makes you say it was a cult? <laughs> the masks and knives aren't enough. They were shouting, Cult of the tree. The cult of the tree. Cult of the tree. <laughs> oh, and then we found a... <gasps> the whole thing was terrifying. Ed has been silenced. Why did you think they were a cult? Well, it was something about them shouting, We're a cult. We're a cult that really kind of clued me in. <laughs> the cult of the tree. The cult of the tree. What aren't the bookers telling me? I found their necklace. The symbol is two triangles. The cult wants their spruce tree bag, Tammy. Finders keepers, Ed. My publisher will want this on the cover. Tammy found something. A necklace belonging to one of the cultists. I absolutely do not fucking get the conclusions she's drawing here. Are you supernatural too? The bookers were at Cauldron Lake. Why? was built to hide what's there. They say the rider fell in the lake. Private party. She spec heavily no into Inland party. Empire? My oh! Past the bolt cutters. They broke in for the sake of Tammy's book. Nothing to do with a the murder. They were telling the truth. Oh, I can play the music and DMCA myself whenever I want? <laughs> cool! My first ever prank on Casey. A true classic. Wait, what's the prank? Orange, thank you for the 11 months. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I mean, like, usually, I mean, when I did uh, Alan Wake Remastered, they actually warned me which music would cause me to get DMCA'd, so I'm assuming as I didn't get a warning. Most of it's okay, but... I, it is a different sponsor, in fairness. You can go ahead, Anderson. We'll be here. Oh, am I supposed to be doing more things in here? Apologies. I thought I was just doing extra stuff. Da, 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 da. <gasps> I think you found something. So you found something there, right? A necklace these cultists may have dropped. Okay. Wow. How did you put that together? It's evidence. Supernatural you powers. Need to have it over. Okay, at least someone acknowledged how fucking weird that is, so I'm assuming she has supernatural powers. I do want to know if when she's in her mind palace, does she just disassociate in front of everybody? Do me a favor. Stick around town for now in case we have any more questions. Like we'd even dream of missing dear Oh god. Saga! Saga Anderson. As I live and breathe. I thought we'd never see you back here after that awful, awful thing happened to your baby girl. And I'm just gonna bring it right up. How are you? Um, I'm sorry. Who are you? I don't know what you're talking about. It's me, silly. Rose. You know me. I don't think I do. Is Rose the lady from the trailer that, like, went all girl. weird? Katana Squirrel, she thank you for the 28 months. Drowned. And Vox, thank you for the two months. Thank you, thank you. Uh, that's so 
weird you don't remember. How do you know I have a daughter? Oh, I know what this is. You're blocking out your traumatic memories. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep Happens talking about TV them. All the time. No. You're mistaking me for someone else. It's another FBI agent called Saga with a daughter. You think she's from the future? Maybe she's an Alan Wake construct. I'm gonna have to at the morgue if you're ready to go take a look. Let's go. Well, Casey, I got a lead. Looks like we're dealing with a cult. The cult of the tree. A murder cult. Fuck. Have you heard of this cult of the tree, Sheriff? Two thousand months. That's crazy, dude. The ones at night, the cult will get you. <laughs> Welcome. Sort of thing. We're not gonna find out you're the Grand Wizard or something, are we? I played some D&D back in the day. Wizard was always <gasps> my favorite class. Morning, Sheriff! I like the Sheriff. Like some guests. Ah, uh, morning, Ted. <laughs> yeah, real important guests. Deerfest. Always draws a crowd, right? <laughs> Too true. More the merrier. Have a good one, Sheriff. How do I zoom in on mouse and keyboard? I really should have, like, paid attention to all these controls. Hey, what do you know about that waitress from the diner? <laughs> Rose? Yeah, she's a bit of a space case. She always had been. Why? What'd she do now? She kept saying that my daughter drowned. She even knew my name. It was all very weird. Rose has a talent for saying the weirdest thing possible. But it's best not to take it personally. But, but how would she know her name? And that she had a daughter? <laughs> hey, boss. Corpse is downstairs, ready to go. Yep, in the morgue, all prep. I'd like to take a closer look as soon as possible. Do you, do you guys see the latest the Black Sheriff. Mirror? Oh, this is the Bright Falls Sheriff Station. Anything you need, just uh, let us know. We appreciate the support, Sheriff. It's really cool yeah. seeing all the same environments, but like super high fidelity. Agent? Agent? Or Sheriff? Deputy, lady. As you know, the investigation is being taken over by the federal agents. Me, what's up? Wants to cooperate fully. Aye, aye, ma'am. <laughs> being serious, Nelson. <gasps> oh dear, I am a tourist, and it appears that I'm lost <laughs> in the wood. If only had a tour guide. Also, bear season. <laughs> oh no, a bear. <laughs> Help. <laughs> Did somebody call for a tour guide? Oh, wow. <laughs> Coscola Brothers Adventure Tours. Unforgettable tour experiences at affordable prices. That's right. I'm Ilmo Koskala, voted best coffee roaster slash tour guide by Coffee World Magazine. <laughs> and I'm here to give you the tour of a lifetime. But Ilmo... I've heard the government has seized and restricted access to many local nature attractions. That is true, Yako. Many local attractions have recently become fenced off by the government. <laughs> and that's why, at Coscala Brothers Adventure Tours, we say, fuck the government. <laughs> we have to Oh, wow. You think of everything. And we'll take you anywhere. Hiking through the scenic Elderwood National Park. Fishing in the crystal clear waters of Bright Falls Dam. Bird watching at Majestic Mirror Peak. A tour of a lifetime is just one phone call away. Book now to get a 9% discount on this limited edition Oh Dear Diner Oh my god, I want a limited edition Oh Dear Diner coffee thermos. I love remedy. <laughs> Lima glitching. Sorry, I was I was saying hello to Leon. They were selling it, and I didn't get one. I don't even drink coffee, and I want one. 
I'll be right with you, sir. I'm going to investigate your files. <laughs> Yoink! Whenever you're ready to take my money. Kill the Joe, make some mo. This is the third time this week I come in for late shift and there's no coffee in the machine. You take the last cup, you brew a new batch. Chad, I hate to break it to you, but you need to have a face capable of growing a beard to make effective use of beard oil. I knew Marco's beard was too soft to be natural. What brand is he using, Lucy? Since my numerous friendly reminders about not having personal packages delivered to the station have gone unheeded, from here on out, if you've seen fit to send something to the station, I will see fit to announce to the station what you have received. Is it a federal offense to open someone's mail? Yes, it is. Is it a personal offense that I need to share my desk space with your late night impulse buys? Yes, it is. You have been warned by the admin. Officer P.S. Officer Lightfoot, your beard oil is ready for pickup. <laughs> the front desk computer and admin email are not to be used for personal quarrels or other unofficial business, and remember to wash your coffee mugs, admin. <laughs> Hey gang, the annual event you've all been eagerly awaiting is upon us again, the Community Outreach Barbecue. Now I don't want to hear any grumbling, this is a valuable opportunity to connect with your community. Statist statistics show that officers who are well integrated with the communities they serve see lower instances of violent crime in their precincts, and are more effective in their policing, and have better overall mental wellness. This is for your benefit, so take it seriously. The community voted drunk dunk tank victim this time will be, drum roll please, Deputy Thornton. Congratulations. Looks like everyone's getting retribution for that speed trap on 12C at last, eh? A friendly reminder that anyone out sick on this day needs to provide a written doctor's note or you'll be assigned night shift for two weeks. Anyone who replies at all to complain about their assignment will be volunteering as the assistant for Officer Lightfoot's magic routine. From Tim. <laughs> Sorry, dunk tank. Supercon, thank you for the seven months. Thank you, thank you. Oh, that's the that's the story. We don't want that. I want to go find more TV shows. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Saga. Kill the door. Kill it. Kill it. There we go. <gasps> the mirror works. I know every one of you is stealing the toilet paper. I've been counting them and there's an entire roll missing every day from stock. Theft is taken seriously around here. It's a sheriff's station for Pete's sake. One of these days I'm going to catch you red-handed and you better believe you're getting thrown out. What a disgrace you are. What kind of nut counts toilet paper rolls? Sounds like you've got too much time on your hands. Thank you for the two years. Thank you very much. They locked up an innocent man. Oh, hi. I swear I didn't do anything. <laughs> They're a lying bunch of bastards. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You believe me, right? No. So we share a morgue with the funeral home next door. It's a shoestring budget. I guess you guys don't have that problem, though. Our only coroner rotates between a few other towns and he's away this week, but you can handle this, right? I'm qualified to perform examinations. Yes. <laughs> Something about morgues. They always cheer me up. I can't say I feel the same. <laughs> he's joking. Hello. I can't get through this. Me either. Okay. Let's take a look at our patient. Oh, here he is again. I'll start with the external inspection before performing the internal examination. Oh no. It's mortuary what assistant all over again. What other clues can the body give me? Defensive wounds. Did they just say what was the cause of fight. death? His heart's fucking missing. This looks like text. A tattoo? Nightingale didn't strike me as a tattoo guy. Aha. Uh -huh. They did leave something inside his chest. <gasps> the body shows signs of being submerged in water post-mortem. He might not have died from his heart being removed. Oh, okay. There's writing on here. Can't make it out. Oh, 
Oh, sorry. Sorry, Casey. I'm busy disassociating. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, let's see. Case board. Alex Casey lunchboxes. Points of interest cases track objects and information that Saga has acquired to chart collection progress. Oh. Finding a Casey movie lunchbox out here can't be a coincidence. Another message? Oh. Um, it's a detective game, but I would be surprised if it's possible to get the answer wrong, if that makes sense. Like, I'm doing detectiving, but I don't think the game is going to want me to figure it out for myself, considering she keeps making such, like, magical leaps of logic. <laughs> she's like super, she's like supernatural in it, so I don't I don't think I'm supposed to be figuring it out. <clears throat> We're dealing with an organized group of killers, not a lone serial killer. Mm hmm. Cult of the tree. Background characters accumulate clues about a broader ongoing topics. I need to know more about the code of the tree if I'm going to shut them down. No, I think it's more likely there's something weird going on considering Alan is writing this. Presumably. What goal? Who's involved? Hmm. Oh, psychology. This interface feels much better with a mouse and keyboard. Dragon Bob, thank you for the 32 months at tier 2. Thank you, thank you. Jewelry can be used as a subtle indicator of membership. It isn't, this isn't subtle. Badger, badger pride. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I can watch it whenever I want. <laughs> and it appears that I'm lost in the woods. Oh, no. Only had a tour guide. Also, it's bear season. He, no, Alan's, yeah, Alan's still locked up, but he's writing things. Hi, Bobby Drake. Uh, am I supposed to be profiling? I wasn't paying attention. Examine Nightingale's body. Oh. I'm stuck. You guys are kind of in the way. I'm just trying to do an examination. Uh, examination of Nightingale. Here we go. What Nightingale's body can tell us. Anything to learn from the body. Makes sense. Cause of death, chest ripped open. Yep. <clears throat> uh... Text is smudged. Looks inverted. Heart can't have been marked before removal. There's definitely something in his chest. Did the killers leave it there? F.
Yeah, I always thought it was weird that more places, like, or more shows didn't address how much this would probably stink. Do you remember in Silence of the Lambs where they all put stuff under their noses for this? <laughs> page we found on Cauldron Lake. Nightingale hunted Saga. Didn't see her. The Taken could not see into bright light. Light hurt them, made them vulnerable. Nightingale had no heart, but here he was. Killing. Someone's created a fucked up fantasy about us. <laughs> hey, hold on. We found these kinds of pages. I didn't think they were relevant to this case. I have them right here. Is this the book from the first game? No, 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 wait! Sheriff? <laughs> He's fucking go- Oh, shit! Oh, shit! So that would be what the option turns off. I hate that freaking noise. So I guess the chest cavity wasn't the cause of death. Fucker ain't dead. See her. Could not see into bright light. I don't remember. Was. Was Tim... Was Tim slash Bobby Drake in the first game? Because he didn't really seem all that surprised by the fact that he was about to get zooshed. He just kind of went, oh, not again. <laughs> no weapon. The page is set to get into the light. I am in the light. Try to stay in the light to avoid being detected by enemies. I am now in the light. How's the game running? It's running great. My gun's out in the hall. Gotta get it back. Safe havens will restore some of your health. If you leave or attack from a safe haven while in combat, it will become temporarily unavailable. Gotta move. Yeah, no, the, the game is yeah. running very well for me. I think the specs are incredibly high because like Cyberpunk, it is capable of some, basically some bleeding edge graphical options. But even on low settings, like I think I think the problem was because people associate low settings as PlayStation 2. Even on low settings, this game looks really, really good. And so, like, the reason why high settings have such a heavy requirement is because it's literally using, like, the bleeding end of tech. Right, Blake, but I'm saying if you do put it on low settings, it still looks good and it runs well. <clears throat> uh, also, on a second. Yeah, okay, cool. I have finished my sponsored segment! I actually think I overran on my sponsored segment, but I finished my sponsored segment! <laughs> but I'm gonna continue playing it anyway because I love this game. So let me just kick off some of the extra stuff. Limes corped successfully. It's running fine on your 2080 Ti on high, no ray tracing. Yeah. Yeah, I've, I've not heard anything, um... ...problematic about performance. Like, I, if you check uh, the NVIDIA subreddit, they have benchmarks, and the game is running incredibly well on the current gen consoles and is running decently on PC as well. But the race, what will you do without them? <laughs> mm. 
Yeah, no, re Remedy often, like, since Control have done really graphically pretty games. So I'm not surprised that this game looks nice and runs well. by holding right trigger and press left trigger to fire. Vanished. <clears throat> Which Alan Wake should you play before this one? The first game? And if you want, there is an Alan Wake related DLC for control. End of chapter! Oh, I should have just finished the sponsor segment there. <laughs> I didn't know. <clears throat> American Nightmare? I think so. It's DLC for the first game, right? It's actually standalone? Oh. I did play it. Play five hours of Suica game? Haha, <laughs> no. I've been looking forward to Alan Wake for years. I wanted another Alan Wake for so long. <laughs> Bye, music! He didn't <laughs> have a heart, but he still got up. The page predicted all of it. It helped me fight him. Oh, oh, oh. Mario! Thank you for the 23 months. Thank you, thank you. I didn't want to play the entire song just in case I get in trouble. We need to figure that out if we're going to do anything about but it. But if you want, I'll Somehow risk it for you, chat. Next song, I'll play the whole thing. Right before things got crazy, Sheriff Breaker just vanished. Maybe the sheriff knew more than he was letting on. Hmm. He seemed anxious, like he dreaded what was coming. I'd One risk it all for you, chat. There is no rational explanation to what we just saw. I'd love to blame this on mass hallucination caused by inhaling volcanic gas, but we both know that's bullshit. The music is made for the game? It's okay, so I'm probably safe. Well, I'm glad you were the one to say it. Now we can figure out a way forward. The victim of a ritualistic murder turns into a monster. Is there a connection? Looks to me like the cult of the tree is performing rituals to... He would probably monsters. know the newspaper. When I played the Maybe. remake of the first game, they actually had a guide as to which stuff was okay to play. Their purpose. <clears throat> I didn't get it this time around because different sponsor. But if Ko had that kind of sponsor, then he probably knows. These pages are important. Breaker dropped one before he disappeared. Saga was back at Cauldron Lake. Saga had to pursue Nightingale into the overlap. Finding a way in would be difficult. A ritual. Saga would learn how. Stop the monster. Hmm. <gasps> um. to the tree is performing rituals to turn people into monsters. I think I was the only victim to become a monster. <clears throat> yeah, I mean... Don't they also use his facial model for Dr. Darling? It just basically looks like Alan Wake, I thought, but... Maybe I'm misremembering it. It's definitely the same VA. Um... Hmm... hmm. Is 
Is the first game about an investigation? Mm, not so much. You're playing a writer in the first game rather than a, an FBI agent. But no, I'm a huge fan of Alan Wake. I've been very, very excited about this game. Must be locked from the other side. They use the VA's face model? Oh, okay, okay. I can never remember. Oh, this poor lady died. It's okay. Alan will definitely just rewind everything again at the end of this game, so everything will be fine. And this town will get absolutely trashed again. Right? Yoink. Nice. <laughs> Hack writer keeps retconning everything. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> I can't go in there, and I can't get in here. I was hoping maybe turning the light off would make him show back up again. actually have any more clue. Wait, one clue for the cauldron like murders? Oh. The cold of the tree is behind these murders. This case just became much more complicated. I'll need to start a new file. Oh. But it's my first cold case. Exciting. And Grider, thank you for the four years. Thank you very, very much. A not lone killer, but an organized group. Wait, how do I start a new case? <laughs> East board. Aha! A dead man turned into a monster. Light as a way to fight him. Pages File new? Oh. There's no rational explanation. This is the case we must solve. Where did Nightingale go? According to the page, it sounds like Nightingale went back to Cauldron Lake and he's a Taken? I know that. The oh. autopsy room was a mess. Oh. Like a bomb had gone off. Nightingale hunted Saga. Didn't see her under the light. Pushed <laughs> past her. The Taken could not see into bright light. The light hurt them. Hurt the darkness in them. Made them vulnerable. I flick the switch. It goes click. Show me the clicker. Lights are off, but somebody's home. Hemingway brought you here, witch. Get out of my house! Nightingale shouted. A wave of terror crashed through Saga's head. The you guys truth. just, like, really enjoy listening Nightingale to Alan. No heart in his chest, but here he was. I think he sounds nice. The, the world had lurched out of balance. You found yourself trapped on the far side of the mirror. Uh... Well, it says he went back to the lake. Can we go to the lake? The page places Nightingale back at Cauldron Lake. Calls him a Taken. We need to head over there. When's the next cyberpunk stream? Anyone else gets um, hurt. probably okay. tomorrow, maybe Sunday. No, actually, probably next week, because I really want to finish out the week, <laughs> if I'm honest. 
We heard gunshots, y'all okay? Did you get spooked by the bodies? Sheriff Breaker disappeared. Nightingale turned into some sort of a monster, and there are offices down. You two handle things here. We need to get back to Cauldron Lake immediately. Fuck Why are you guys not reacting to this? She, sh she just sprawled out into the hallway. <laughs> They're like, we heard gunshots. Is everybody okay? And this corpse just spilled out onto them. I'm so confused. That's crazy, right, Thorn? Nightingale's heart was missing. How could he do anything? He's dead. Yoink. Yeah, right. Well, that's all crazy talk. <laughs> Monsters aren't real, and what do you mean the, the sheriff disappeared? Like, poof? He's gone like magic? Magic's not real. <laughs> Magic's not real. Right? Mulligan? No, Thorn. Monsters aren't real, <laughs> and magic's definitely not real. I knew that. I like Thornton, he's fun. Mm. Oh my <laughs> Christ! She just lurched in there! They're <laughs> <clears throat> uh. mm, a fine pair. Anything new on the TV? No. Boo. Take it easy. <laughs> Why is everyone being so casual? The, the sheriff's gone and that lady was murdered. And the, <clears throat> the dude in the autopsy Not room was murdered too. Are dangerous. <laughs> we need to be prepared in case things escalate more than they Take already have. Take it easy. Can you call it in, Casey? A smart choice, Anderson. A Agent Casey here. Yeah. We need backup. The Bright Falls case. Whoever you can spare. ASAP. Think we'll actually find Nightingale at the lake? The pages haven't been wrong yet. <laughs> it's gone. The person writing these pages isn't playing us. I agree. But it's our best lead. I am curious because someone asked if you get Alan gameplay, but I can't imagine what gameplay Alan could have right now other than <laughs> it basically be like typing of the dead. Like you switch to Alan and you just like write a novel and then you switch back. Uh, rinse and repeat. Clock out, get a beer. Or maybe three. Can I go in here? Oh. So what's good here? Any nice restaurants? I'm a bit of a foodie. Well, uh, the restaurants and shops in town are closed at the moment, unfortunately. Take care now. Uh, they'll have a grand reopening right after Deer Fest, though. So if you're sticking around till then... <laughs> Where are Odin and Thor? They might genuinely be dead. Rest easy, buddy. Why do you keep... Okay. I guess she just really likes deer. It won't open. She's a little strange, just a tad. This place got absolutely exploded in the first game, right? I feel like I remember this lodge. Oh, right! 
why? Didn't it, didn't like the darkness at one point try and gaslight Alan into believing that he was a resident <laughs> here and what he was like experiencing wasn't real? Davis family beef jerky will now be available at the Sunday Oh my market. god. Three delicious flavors. That's Three right. flavors, Our chat. Sponsor, Davis oh, right, right. Beef it wouldn't have been this lodge because that wasn't in town. Be enjoyed in smoked hickory, teriyaki, and hickory teriyaki. I handed out samples here at the Valhalla nursing home and thought I'd catch up with one of our residents to get her thoughts. Donna, how are you? I've got chronic back pain from my spinal stenosis. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> you know, when I'm feeling stiff, I find a light snack helps. So, did you try that beef jerky? No. Lunch is at 11, and I wanted to save my appetite because today was the fish soup with crackers. Wow. I'm allowed up to four crackers, but I only take one unless I have a glass of cranberry juice. They ran out of cranberry juice at breakfast, which is at <laughs> seven. Okay, Grandpa Simpson. It makes me gassy before cribbage, and I can't... So you didn't try the jerky. Got it. Well, that's too bad, Donna. Their new <laughs> flavor sure does hit the spot. They had teriyaki salmon with rice on Friday's dinner menu. Dinner's at five, but we all know the salmon takes longer to prepare, and then you're late for bingo. And who needs all that spice? I agree. Teriyaki is a shit flavor. <laughs> Who? Is that Tapio? How are you on the line? I couldn't end the call. You've been on the phone this entire time? Yes. And I hate teriyaki. Well, it's delicious on jerky. So, let's give a big thank you to Wendy Davis for these samples. <laughs> no, that can't be right. Wendy went missing in 2010. <gasps> I heard she's dead. <gasps> now I'm, I'm referring to Wendy Davis from our sponsor, Davis Family Beef Jerky. Wendy Davis, that's the dead one. She's dead. Right. Well, that's <laughs> our time. Remember to keep your coffee warm and your chin up because that sun shines right around the corner. <laughs> Pat Maine signing off. Or Pat Maine. None of the mirrors here are very good at mirroring. What? Oh! That was a tiny bathroom. Cauldron Lake, look into news and rumors, focus on 2010, cross-reference with old case files from NYC cult, similarities, commonalities, and mythology, part of a series. Find out name of good coffee from diner. Oh, is this our room? There's so many coffee cups. Yeah, probably a little under two hours Hello. into the game. Hello! Oh, it could be the booker's room. But it could also be where we're staying. I can't get through this. They are into their moody mood lighting in this town, aren't they? I mean, I'm sure if I really wanted to as an FBI agent, I could get in there, hey but there. something about it being an abusive power if I don't have a reason to, right? Billy's Boatyard, rigging and repairs. I need something to cut this. Well, let's call up that tourist agency because they said they had bolt cutters. I want to go see what's on the right up here. Hi. 
Okay. How about that weather forecast for Deerfest? I've been working on this float for a month straight. If it rains, I am gonna lose it. <laughs> what happens if I just jog straight out of town? Oh, the store's closed. Boo. Wait, how far how far are they gonna let me go? Reflection Come on, Saga. <laughs> Time to get back to work. But mom I'm gonna take a quick look around. Cool Meet you back at the car. <gasps> you coming? No, Ilmo. I'm very busy wearing a turtleneck and drinking wine like an asshole. Oh dear, I know what Yako needs. I'm a beer to the rescue. Bring I like how you can see the string. With I'm a beer. <laughs> It's the best party ever. Thanks, Ahma Beer. Ahma Beer is a traditional Finnish lager, and we drink it the Finnish way. At the bar, while actively avoiding small talk with strangers. Getting blackout drunk on a boat during midsummer and trying not to drown. In the sauna, using your beer can sauna. to hide your pipeli from wandering eyes. Partaking in the Finnish tradition of Kalsarikemmit, drinking at home alone in your underwear with no intentions of going out. It's not sad if it's intentional. <laughs> Alma beer. Your Finnish <laughs> drinking adventure starts here. Eat belly. Dude, I can see the guy behind me in the TV. Hi, Rose. So, Rose. Help me out. How do you think we know each other? We all know each other around here. It's been a while, but I never forget a face. Or a coffee order. Guess I just have one of those faces. Does it feel like a, a bunch of other characters were mo-capped, but Rose isn't? Seen anything out of the ordinary in town lately? Suspicious people in deer masks? No one's suspicious. But soon enough, there will be lots of happy people wearing deer masks for Deerfest. Like, the facial animations That's are really good on everyone, and Rose is going weird. <laughs> oh, they left. Good to see you. You think it's intentional to make her creepy? I think I saw something. It'll only take a minute. Always here. What? <laughs> Did I? Am I going to play the DMCA jukebox? It's out of order. I cannot. Did you check out the town, Anderson? Just getting my bearings. Ready to go? Waiting on you. You put the lime in the coke, then now you drink to it all clean, up. Anderson. I know why Nightingale was here 13 years ago. He was chasing a writer, Alan Wake. Tammy mentioned him. She's writing a book on his disappearance. You know the detective character from his books. Alex Casey. Yeah, I've heard the jokes at the office. Cold case Casey. Murder case Casey. <laughs> Sorry. Ha <laughs> ha. It's the same name, similar job. It's the first thing anyone thinks of. It annoyed me, but that was it. Then, ten years ago, I started getting strange letters in the mail. Fragments of prose describing murders. You've heard the stories about what happened in New York. Some of it, at least. Bodies started to pile up. 
It was a murder cult. Turns out the fragments sent to me were from the crime books of Alan Wake. <gasps> he said the name again! The cult was copycatting the murders from the books. In their heads, they were performing a ritual to bring Wake back. Their imagined prophet. After that case, I started looking into Wake's disappearance on the side. And you thought this case might be connected to him? The murder cult Isn't trying to bring Alan Wake out? back. What game was that covered in? I just wanted you to have all the facts. Next time, give them to me before we find ourselves in the middle of a horror story. Augie, thank you for the 60 months. Holy moly, the five years. Thank you, thank you. Control, maybe? The heart! The page says Nightingale's in something called an overlap. Need to figure out exactly what that means. I'm happy I'm not in charge of this mess. Thanks. Let's Mike. start looking for Nightingale where he was killed. Great. This area is supposed to be close to the public. That's not Thor's bike, is it? No. The writer of these pages knows what will happen. Because they're behind this, or because they can see what's coming. Impossible things are happening here. A world operating on different rules. I need to understand this strange logic. To see the clues. To solve the case. Yeah, <laughs> who's supposed to be keeping this place closed to the public? They just lost a bunch of deputies. The cult of the tree. What sort of cult refers to themselves as a cult? A lime cult. They don't. We're not seeing the full picture yet. Hey guys, what's going on over here? Hey. Hello there. <gasps> How are you folks doing? Elmo. Those restricted area signs. Hello. Damn. Saga Anderson. Are you two supposed to be here? I'm Ilmo Koskela. <laughs> Fantastic to meet you. <laughs> and yes, Stephen here hired me to show him through the woods. He's in town on important government business. Fixing this impressive piece of hardware. I work for the FBC, oh. ma'am. I'm authorized to be here. And I bet you two are here about that murder. Nasty stuff. I like the way he says Ilmo Koskela. How's it going? How did you hear about the murder, Ilmo? Do you know anything that could help us? People tend to tell me things. The Koskela brothers are kind of a Is FBC control? Here. Speaking of, uh, if you're looking for some fun, stop by Is that like Watery. SCP? Just down the road from Bright Falls, there's our Coffee World Amusement Park. There's Sauna, Sauna de Vista. <laughs> <laughs> and we offer a variety of guided tours, hunting, fishing, hiking, whatever. I really like the way he says sauna. You name it, sauna. probably got it. What is this thing? Yeah, the guy on the right is from the it's FBC. Just a monitoring station, ma'am. The Federal Bureau of Control checks volcanic activity and air toxicity levels. No need to worry, though. It's mostly for research purposes. That's one gorgeous wetter saga. <laughs> <laughs> Looks Nordic. I bet a family member made it. Steven, we're investigating a murder that occurred. I like how this entire game so far is what like. Can you tell me about your bureau. I, I know that thing that, that they mentioned. I'm afraid. But I don't know anything about a murder. Wait. I recognize that actor before. too. I'm just here to make some repairs. The wiring on this thing I recognize Steven. Hours. Yep, that's the raccoons. They grow real big here with teeth like you wouldn't believe. Can not run right through a garbage can. My mother made this sweater for me. How do you know? I knew it. My mom used to knit those sweaters for me and my brother. Watery, my hometown, was founded by Finnish immigrants. So between your name and the sweater, I figured your family might be from Finland too. Suomi, Finland. Ulla, Karjalan Beer. Close. My mom's family is from Sweden originally. Sweden! 
I don't know much about them beyond that. The sweater is just something to remember her by. Thank you. Did he just get really fucking out. disappointed that I'm from, like, that she's from Sweden and not Finland? He, he didn't say a bonus. single thing and then just turned Look around like, no. It, just something that shouldn't be here. He was like, fucking Swedes. Clear signs of tampering. Signal was rerouted into a transmitter that is not one of ours. I fixed it so any alerts will come our way, but it's definitely concerning. I'll make a report for the investigations department. Hey, I'm a beer. Leaving this here in case I'm not the next person to fix these thing, this thing. If you're reading this check for tampering, we may want to put more secure metal casing around the whole thing so that the raccoons can't get it anymore. From Stephen Lynn, chief technician. Are the games connected? Yeah, in Control there was an Alan Wake DLC. He didn't even say goodbye. Let's get to the I just said pieces. Sweden and he turned around and left the conversation. <laughs> A lot of things about this case keep bothering me. But one thing feels really off. Breaker's disappearance. I don't get the feeling Nightingale was responsible. Hmm. He was what about the facial capture, Tenai? Same guy? Something didn't want us to have them? Or was protecting him from Nightingale? Spontaneous combustion? I don't know. I, not the kind of disappearance we normally saw. I got like a weird bug going on when I turn now. Like the game is smooth up until I turn and then it goes a bit weird. Our crime scene's drowning. I never mind it rain. Feels like it might be the cold. extensive amount of reflections no, that are now being <laughs> thrown into the, the scene. did place him at Cauldron Lake in an overlap. So how do we follow him there? Maybe something around here will tell us. We've seen this symbol before. Hmm. It was on the necklace. Monsters, overlaps, rituals. What do you make of all of this? Hmm. The killers are usually the ones performing the ritual, not the detective. Acting out their sick fantasy. They may be trying to get you involved, forcing you into their twisted world. But with dead men coming alive, <laughs> The word ritual starts to have more weight behind it. We need to look around. <laughs> learn what this ritual is. The game is fucking incredible After looking. We find Nightingale, what then? I've never arrested a Yeah, monster. it's it's I've watched you There were two cases where specs are insane. You know One is where I the mean. game isn't optimized at all and monster does not look monsters. enough good enough to, to, to justify the specs. And other ones light. where the game is just graphically just pushing that envelope. It's else. crazy. <laughs> I'm incredible looking. <laughs> Smooth as silk. I like you, chat member. But yeah, it's weird because it's. I think it's like, yeah. If I look down there, it chugs. If I look up here, it's fine. So. A few too many reflections, I would say. <laughs> Sito! Thank you for the 86 months! Holy moly, how are you? Bare feet. Nightingale. I'll see where these footprints lead. Can you come through the crime scene one more time, KC? Just in case. On it. If anything comes up, I'll radio you. <laughs> but yeah, the sometimes the overhead that's streaming uh puts on top of like everything else. Is pretty crazy. In Cyberpunk, I get over 100 frames unless I'm streaming, in which case I just hit 60. It's nuts. Northern Eevee, thank you for the 17 months. Thank you, thank you. 
How do you like the knitting, Hero? I had... I had it made just for you. Hmm. Thanks. Uh, writing it down in case it happens again and I forget. I got that feeling again. It hit me suddenly at 1.15 a.m. after I'd finished my om omla beer on the porch of the trailer. I got into my car and drove chasing it. Starry night, not much moon. As expected, it let me pass Bright Falls to Cauldron Lake. I tried to find the right spot, the right emotion, the right thought, the combination to have it all aligned to make it happen. Terrified it would. It didn't. Not this time. Frustrated but relieved. I scanned the fuck. I scanned the sky for the shapes, the objects, nothing. But when I repeat, rep, when I blink repeatedly, I think I saw the after image of an octahedron. It faded fast. When I got ready to drive back, I felt someone watching me here, but not here. It's him. I know it is. Does he know I'm getting close? I'm on the right track. I was right to come to Bright Falls. Yeah, that chunk of water over by the crime scene is fucking up my frames. I'm getting flashbacks. Remember Ohio? Sure. The North Side Slasher. But that case was completely different. The trees, Anderson. Lime's lost. He hid the bodies in the forest. Lime's lost. Lime's dizzy. Yes, I do, I guess. She wanted to follow footsteps, but I have no idea where the footsteps are. <laughs> I guess I'll keep running down here until something good happens. FXCL! Thank you for the 45 months. Thank you, thank you. The tracks lead into the water. <gasps> Where'd he go from here? Where did he go? <gasps> <laughs> I can feel something. Jesus Christ, why? Presence. Where did he go now? Isn't far. Where did he go? <laughs> a hole in her before? I don't feel like she did. <laughs> what is that? Seems like it's reacting to the light. <gasps> These aren't the same tracks that were here before. They're headed into the tree, not out of it. You can toggle flashlight boost, increase damage to darkness, and burn through dark substance. Uh-huh. My Hold on. Options. Control. Uh -huh, controls. Flashlight burned the dark stuff away. It was covering another page. The fuse was in place. Saga stepped into the witch's hut. Inside, a bright light. There were objects that stood out to Saga, as if the light had manifested them. The witch's hut. Okay. okay. I trust the pages to lead me to the overlap. None of those words that you said were real. <laughs> Not even the word pages. I know Nightingale is somewhere around Cauldron Lake. The tree was a threshold. This place and the dark place. <laughs> You're in over your head. Next stop. Oh, dear. 
Water Street Station. The threshold. Like a doorway. Leading to Nightingale. It's somehow connected to a tree. Which is Ladle? It's a shame you can't like put that music on while you're working on the case board or something. That would be very cool. Da, 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 da. Footprints weren't here before. Nightingale came this way. I'm on the right trail. Is this my mind palace? Excuse me, it's a mind place. It's That's entirely light. different. Light is the key. To stay safe. But for something more to be revealed as well. Is Witch's Ladle the doorway into the overlap? If so, that's where I'll find Nightingale. Yeah, this is so much better with a mouse and keyboard. Um... Jesus. Oh, here we are. I need Wait, to was there like another that. tube? Oh. Yeah. The witch's hut was back this way, right? Because I went there before. Oh, to put you up there if you hadn't already found it, I see. This is the witch's hut. Anderson, thought I saw something in the woods. Uh oh. Probably just a deer, but I'm gonna check it out. Okay. Don't die. On another page. Following up on a lead. I need a fuse. Keep checking in. Roger. The fuse box is missing a fuse. I need to find one to turn on the lights. Fuse? This fuse is busted. Oh. Fuse? That's not a fuse, that's a page. A lunchbox again. Oh! Who's leaving these out here? I know things can get a little crazy around here, but if you're ever feeling scared, just remember that Alan is watching over us. <laughs> he is now a mythical, a mythical figure. Alan is now God. This one looks good. People should really stop littering, though. Oh, God. The more water that appears, the worse it's getting. Shit, that's the first save spot? <laughs> Cookies. Or... No. Bread? Cheesy bread? Another page. Making progress. The image of the witch in the sign. Saga addressed the witch. The smudged line on the heart. The second part recited from memory. I brought you the heart, witch. Show me the terror. Saga pushed the heart I'm not pronouncing the that. Sign. Do it? Okay, fine. Hold on. Wait. No, not that one. Oh. 
Yako, we are going to a cool guy's house to drink some brewskis. Are you coming? He says it in here. I'll learn. I'm very busy wearing a turtleneck and drinking wine like an asshole. <laughs> oh dear, I know what Yako needs. I'm a beer to the rescue. Bring out your inner Wolverine with Ahma beer. Say the word. Wow, this is the best party ever. Thanks, Ahma beer. Ahma beer is a traditional Finnish lager, and we drink it the Finnish way. At the bar while actively avoiding small talk with strangers. Getting blackout drunk on a boat during midsummer and trying not to drown. In the sauna, using your beer can to hide your pipeli from wandering eyes. Pipeli. Partaking in the Finnish tradition of kalsarikannit. Drinking at home alone in your underwear with no intentions of going out. Ice so car. if it's intentional. Alma beer. Your Finnish drinking adventure starts here. Eat belly. He didn't say it. Your frame rate's nice in here. <laughs> oh. Okay. Uh. Anonymous, thank you for giving Pipelli a sub. Are you seeing screen tearing? I'm not seeing screen tearing. The page from the witch's hut seems to be describing some kind of ritual. To get into the overlap, I need to find Nightingale's heart. Read the line imprinted on it, plus the line on the page to the witch's ladle sign. Then push the heart through the hole in the sign. What? Christ! Nightingale's heart disappeared from the morgue. Where is it now? Hmm. Oh yeah, okay, let's just go find the missing fucking heart. It'll be funny. If only the rest of the Bureau knew what a softy Casey is. Pistola. I still need tons. I need Nightingale's heart to get to the overlap. Tell me, psychic powers! Where is it? The cultist wouldn't close. He was there, but he was risen. Nightingale was there. The opposite of sunspots. Who said that? That's not it. I don't have what I need to find Nightingale's heart. There must be more. Okay. Nightingale's heart. <laughs> Where is it? Meanwhile, they played cards in the general store. The witch had stolen Do you think heart. this is actually the VA for Nightingale it with heavy filtering on it? Nightingale's heart is at the general store, in a fridge. Why do you know that? <laughs> You're not deducing shit! You have magical powers! Casey, I'm headed to the general store. I think I know how to get into the overlap. Roger that. I followed some ATV tracks in the woods and got a bit turned around. Did you get lost? I've only been lost once in my life, Anderson. Years I spent with my ex-wife. <laughs> find my way back, don't you worry about it. Wife joke. It was this year before. Need to get out of this this particular section because the reflections are shitting all over my GPU right now. 
Where the heck am I? <gasps> Safety light! Safety light! Wait. If there's a safety light, then there that means that there's not safety places. Uh-oh. From suspicious activity spotted, the fielder thought he saw movement in the bushes. Footprints around the area were found, but some were comprised of the fielder. Compromised by the fielder. Note to self, train the fielder. <laughs> Nothing to report some animals regular. Hunters out after dock. Poachers heard some gunshots, not one of ours. Gotta keep an eye on those people. They could get more than they bargained for out here. Do you guys hear snarling? Oh, the frame rate. This from the trailer. Wait, doesn't someone actually legitimately show up in a second? <laughs> like, that doorway is very sus. I feel like something happens in there. <laughs> Flashlight boost to burn through the darkness surrounding enemies. Get burned. Occultist, a monster. I hate that achievement noise so much. On the heart is clearer now. Legible. I feel like I recognize this. The fridge. The heart. I knew it would be here. Like I saw it in a dream. Can I turn it off? I don't know. I don't know the and epic store very well. The to the witch. Makes total sense. The in-game overlay? How do I get to the epic in-game overlay? <laughs> also, how do I get to my stuff? Ah. First aid kit. Trauma pad. I actually just completely forgot what button I need to do to quick heal. <laughs> Make it stop. Shift F1 does not work. Shift F3? Oh. Okay, hold on. Settings... Disable all notifications. Thank you. <gasps> Gun! Check with Lady Fortuna at the counter. Okay. <gasps> A bag for stuff! Nice. Where's the counter? Ooh, did you see the reflection in the things? Very good. Don't forget to update code Lotto Washington 05 13 17 23 39 45. The numbers, what do they mean? They're all crossed out though. Wait, 705, 713, 7, 
Seventeen, seven twenty-three. Oh, seven thirty-nine. Okay. I see what they did. You can quick slot weapons from the inventory, you can also quick slot healing items. Okay. Quick slot. Three. Quick slot. One. I don't know why, shotguns are always three, handguns are always one. Handgun is two, incorrect. I would say that like a, a quick weapon, like a TMB or an assault rifle is two, and then snipers are four. It is known. Casey, there are cultists in the area. They're taken, like Nightingale. Watch yourself out there. Yeah, thanks for the heads up. I'm still finding my way back. You have the worst <laughs> sense of direction. <laughs> Any city in America I can get through drunk and blindfolded. It's these damn trees. Okay, okay. I'm en route to Witch's Ladle. I Am need I? to perform a ritual to open the overlap. This case just keeps getting weirder. But if there is, is an option for melee, I can see the argument for melee on one, but this game doesn't have melee, so I'm gonna on one. <laughs> It's really funny going from out there to in here, where the uh, frame rate just like skyrockets. The mile high strangler case. Proud of that one. Sounds literary. The wave crashed on the far side of the mirror. I brought you the heart, which show me the terror. Found the heart in the fridge. Just like the page said I would. Reload speed deals increased damage to enemies that are stunned, blinded, or knocked down. Kill an enemy to restore health. The amount of restored health depends on the strength of the enemy. Man, all of these sound cool, but I barely have enough pages. I hope they they increase the rate where I get the pages, because otherwise I'm going to have enough for like one by the end of the game. Don't jump scare me, bro. Oh, that light in the lake is on now. Good. I'm ready. Oh, do you think I should take the game's advice and go save first? I'm ready. You ready? Wait, come back. I want to get out of this place. It's... not playing well with streaming. Why does she say you're not really present? What the fuck does she even mean? <laughs> I don't want to combat in here, it sucks here. Uh oh. 
Uh, what is that? Space? Oh, I see. Okay. Fucking monsters. Yeah, considering all the rest of the text in this game is so large, it's weird that, that was tiny. Oh, am I not ready to do this yet? Uh-oh. What am I doing in here? Hold on. Goals... Performing the ritual... Or, oh, place the heart in the witch's sign. Oops. Oop. There's the sign with the witch. A bit late there! We'll get to say hi to Alan now. Ow. Ow. Alan, stop it. Nightingale, stop it. What the fuck? Casey. I think I'm in the overlap. Hey, the frame rate's back. Are you still on your way? Casey. Oh no. Casey, do you read me? Casey! Logan? Mom, help. Logan! Why would Logan Where are be you? there? Be smart. Was that Logan's back in Virginia? Yeah, he is. You're imagining things. Yeah, you are. Also, question. She keep they talked about her daughter drowning, and she was like, "My daughter hasn't drowned." But she hasn't mentioned her daughter in any other way, apart from, like, the- I guess the picture on the mantelpiece? She's only ever spoken to Logan. Where her daughter at? Would you please help me? Alan! What was that? Logan is the daughter? Wait. Oh. Did I get turned around? No, Logan is, right. is grill. This place is looping. Are you sure? Like a nightmare. <laughs> Age. Yeah, I guess Logan is the girl. Need to find Nightingale. Mm. Witch's ladle, towering over Saga, watching her and the witch. The image of the witch in the sign, Nightingale's heart, a cold, dead lump in her hand. Her definition of sanity had changed since she arrived in this town. But she trusted the pages, was forced to. Saga addressed the witch. She squinted to read the first part of the ritual words, the smudged line on the heart. The second part recited from memory. The word she had read on the page. I brought you the heart, witch. Show me the terror. Saga pushed the heart through the hole in the sign. This was the key. The tree was the threshold. Mm. I think I didn't look at this page either, but I'm not going to bother listening to Alan do it. Oh. Tad 
Tsu. Thank you. Oh, sorry. Welcome back. Thank you again, Atsuna. Also, I'm going to try something here. Uh, do that. That'll probably help a little bit. A little bit better. I'm not a huge fan of the faces flashing up constantly. I don't think the first game did it, and I don't think it's necessary. He's here, Nightingale. Nightingale? It did do it occasionally? I don't remember it, weird. I'll take your word for it, though. Alan! Who is that? Alan! It's like they're coming in over a bad signal. Nightingale's badge. Alan is a really funny name to just shout over and over again. Alan! Missable collectibles do you think are in this game? I feel like there's gonna be a lot. Your name is Alan? I didn't say it was a bad thing, I just said it was fun to say over and over again. Alan! Hey. So far away. Oh, shit. I reloaded. Oh, sorry, I, I dodged even. Get fud. That takes forever to reload. Uh huh. Can I get away? <laughs> I don't know. Should I try performance, or do you think that'll be a noticeable drop? I think that looks okay. I don't know if I'm timing it badly or not. Stop jump scaring me, sir.
think I don't want to reload my flashlight until it's fully empty. Can you guys check and see? Oh god, that takes a lot long to reload one. Alright. It doesn't waste bullets, so that's nice. Hello? Who are you? What is this? Who are you? Did you hear me? I'm Saga Anderson, FBI. I can hear you. Cauldron Lake. Yes, sir. I'm at Cauldron Lake. Where are you? I'm not to escape. In danger. The dark presence. Danger. Thanks. Got it. I like how... Is that, do you think, from, like, running under a branch or something? Because if he actually, like, canonically hit her with that tree, she'd be fucking dead. Are you okay? Oh, no! It's my fault! <gasps> I got out with my face! Patch! Sir, calm down. I'm gonna he's need to here. take a breath. He's here! He's changed the story. The d dark presence. We must stop it before... Easy now. Accidental coincidence. Thank first you for the 26 first. months. Thank you, thank you. What's your name? Alan! My name <laughs> is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I, I've been... Wake? Where did you come from? The lake. You've been missing for 13 years. My wife. 13. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> I will listen to the music for you, chat. Gonna get out my lighter and wave it backwards and forwards. I should be watching a, a montage of like people in their 20s playing teenagers at high school discovering their first love while they're all doing things that are incredibly unrealistic for actual high schoolers to do. Vampire and Diaries ass fucking music.
One of my favorite movies for, like, adults playing teenagers is fuck is Grease. <laughs> like... One of the- one of the people in Greece legitimately looks about 45, and it's incredible. Welcome. I, I listened to the whole thing for you, and if I get claimed to shit... Anders, where did you go? All Hi. of a sudden, the radio stopped working, and then that flooding just disappeared. The crazy forest. Is this who I think it is? Casey. I don't know. You haven't looked at him yet. Alan there we Wake. go. <laughs> Mr. Wake, this is Special Agent Alex Casey. He'll escort you to our it's car. traditional for, for Alan there, Wake right to have music at the around. end of each chapter. I'm okay with it. If receded, there might be evidence we missed earlier. Okay. See you there. Can I play Alan Sleep now? Alex Casey? How? Am I still... Is this the dark place? No. No, it can't be. I got out. Yeah. The P.I. from your books has the same name as me. Great. Moving on. <clears throat> Hi, Alan. Can I it's play a as you? It's a bit of a hike to the car, Wake. Just get your bearings, then we'll head out. <laughs> He's so I dirty. Just, I, I need another minute. Okay. Cauldron Lake. I thought I'd never see this place again. Take your time. But you should know these woods aren't the safest. Yeah. Uh getting dark you have a flashlight it's not safe without a light I was shining I it on you at the start light and a gun you can relax wake and pages if you see pages of writing anywhere you must take them and keep them safe our lives could depend on it they have vital information we know about the pages wake we'll keep an eye out for them okay okay just give me a moment it's okay. Take your time. Like, do I actually need to give you- Jesus, are you good? <laughs> the dark place got him glitching. I keep feeling like I'm gonna pull out a throwing knife, actually. I'm glad you guys feel the same way. Like, can we go? Or do we actually need to give you- I'm leaving, goodbye. Should look, look around. Oh, okay. With the flooding gone, could be further clues out there. I'll look around. The flooding disappeared very suddenly. I wonder if there's any connection to the overlap. To Nightingale. Alan Wake, more like Alan Drenched. <laughs> Reedy Mountain. No! Ow! This is terrible. I mean, I forget. What was true and what was false? Did Alan actually have a wife? I don't remember if his wife was real. Didn't he, like, have a wife and it tried to gaslight him into thinking he didn't have a wife, but then he rescued wife and that's how he ended up in the dark place? Creepy twig sculpture? I mean... <laughs> It's hard to remember box. the plot because a chunk of it was like the game trying Is to gaslight him. The tree symbol on it. Oh.
notes and ammo. Looks like they're tools of the they trade. They look like us, they are, the but they aren't. They're like animals. It's our job to and get them. Got them. Okay. Cool. Real secure lockbox, nerds. My shit now. I mean, I remember I actually found... Or sorry, I played the remake, so it hasn't been that long since I played, but... Yeah, no, when gaslighting is a key part of the game, you tend to, like, forget stuff. The frame rate's much better now. Zoom! Smooth. He'd been on the trail of the writer forever. The writer he despised. Hemingway, Bukowski, Wake. I'll get you. I'll find you. I'll make you pay. You're in over your head. He descended into the tunnels, from the dark city, into the ocean of darkness. Next stop, Caldera Street Station. Something, a presence, rumbled. Not a train. Shadows shifted on the platform. The writer's cult waited for him there. The cult of the word. A cultist leaned close. I carry his words close to my chest now. You're not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. He'd be caught. Murdered. They got him. They didn't get him. He was reborn out of hate. <laughs> he was there. But he was risen. Sent to find the light switch up from the lake that was not the lake. Alan, I'm starting to think you're a shitty writer. <laughs> it was Japes. It was not Japes. Oh, shit. I love quick turns. Zoop. Zoop. Uh-oh. Oh! <gasps> oh, fuck. Huh. I don't want to shoot a dog, though. Well, not that that's- <gasps> <laughs> Okay! Maybe I do! That coffee is gray. <laughs> like, legitimately, I can see brown underneath it, but it's gray on top. I would not drink that.
I actually don't know what my goals are right now. Investigate the previously flooded area. I mean, I'm done, right? Oh god, what it... <sighs> How am I gonna tell once I've finished investigating? Oh, this probably is where it lands. Page! Back at Witch's Ladle, Saga pointed the flashlight at the strange, <laughs> dark substance. The same substance Nightgale had left at the morgue. Damn it, there Alan. Was something hidden under it. She strained to see. The opposite of sunspots in her eyes. Blacker than black. Suddenly a change. The light reacted to the substance. A feedback loop surging up her arm. Saga squeezed the flashlight, willing it to penetrate the dark matter. Burn it away. Uh huh. Uh huh. All right. Oh, underwhelming. Ooh. What if I ignore the telegraphed arrows and run off into the wilderness? Okay, I'll come back to that because holy shit, that's that's a lot. Streamside stash key. Streamside stash? I guess I gotta go find the streamside stash now. Uh oh. Hey. He just said cauldron lake. I do have a question. How come there are loads more taken than actually, like, killed people? Today's catch a yellow perch and a mid-sized pike. Almost caught a lake trout, but it gave me the slip. Sorry, an out of town or walking around in the woods just before sunrise. Had binoculars or a telescope or something. Taking notes. Didn't notice me. Good. Don't need the attention. Today's catch just an old rubber boot. Some of the regular creepies roaming around again avoided them as usual. No one notices a quiet old fisherman. Not even the fish. Streamside! That's where I want to be! There's something written here. A poem? One bird for riddle. light, two for darkness, three birds Reminds for a fight. Of nursery rhymes I read to Logan when she was little. Four for a struggle, five birds for injury, six for misery, seven for the ending, whatever it may be. <laughs> what? Okay. A little clothes bindle. Oh, it's a oh. Perfect weird souvenir for Logan. I think I gotta put the burbs in the thing. On the thing. But I wanna find the streamside stash too. Okay, well one bird for light, so let's put Something feels different. I should look around. Ah. <gasps> A charm. Ooh. Cute. It'll go great on the bracelet Logan made for me. Huh. That was strange. 
Gotta keep an eye out for more of these rhymes. Huh. Does that mean I solved it then? Alright. Good job, me. Looking for a stash. Looking for a stash. What do you mean, no? <laughs> How is that not the right key? Oh, no. Key to the cult stash at the stream in Cauldron Lake. Oh, so is it just me or does, does this area go from relatively bright sunset to pitch fucking darkness quite quickly? Do I see a stream? No, but this area is called Streamside! Like, literally, as I joined here, it said Streamside. Oh, hey. Oops. Right. Yeah, this place is called Streamside because it's beside its stream. But there's no stash right here. We all float down here, chat. Is there a stash here? Hello? <gasps> a thing! Minus two. <laughs> oh, wait, no, no, no. Seven minus two. Five? <laughs> what do the numbers mean? <gasps> Six plus two. Eight. Three. The cult is leaving supplies around for themselves. Plus three is six. Whoa! Rock, rock, tree, are you bright enough? Okay, so rock, tree... So, five... Six... Eight. Right? Yeah. Wonder what's inside. I should take a look around for a way to open this thing. Or it might be six, five, eight. Are you one of us or one of them? Yoink. 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 Damn it. But wait. That means it wasn't the stream side one, right? Because <laughs> it was a different stash. Help! <laughs> ah! How can it be a streamside stash if it's not the streamside stash? 
<gasps> a stash? By the stream? Oh, it's empty. Wait, does that have been here before? <gasps> What's this? What's this? Easter egg! I mean, there's a lunchbox around here somewhere. There's another lunchbox. Yeah, boy. I looked down at the rippling water. The moonlight danced over each and every wave, a marching band of shivering, shimmering light. Lonely and cold, I hugged myself and sighed. I thought of him. Then the surface of the lake calmed, and like a spectral surprise, he was there. His face smiling at me reflected in the water. I looked up, not daring to believe it was true, but it was true. He was there. My love, my savior, my writer. Nine fragments? Hot damn. But it's still not a streamside stash. Freaking witch's cabin. Have I gone all the way? I have! <laughs> uh... Do I have enough manuscript pages yet? <gasps> what should I upgrade first? Hmm. I think I'm gonna go for the pistol headshot upgrade. Saga was sure she had hit the Taken in the head, but it not even slowed the monster down. Damn it, Alan! She took aim and fired again. Another headshot. This time, the Taken staggered. Hey, chat! Have any of you maybe gotten this far already and you know where the stream side stash is? Maybe. Maybe. I'm, I'm fucking lost. Perhaps you know? Uh oh. That guy just said, fuck you. No, sir. Fuck you. The solution has to be in here. The what? The, 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 the solution to, to what? I, I swear to God, he just said I'd like to fuck you. I don't know. The stream side stash is located by the stream streamer. Oh, I see. It's time to ban chat. Stream slash slash. I don't want to leave until I find it because it's stressing me out. Where could it be? We don't know. The starting point of the arrows that led to the key. Really? Okay, I'll go look. Da 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 Wait, where's the key for this one then? Da 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 Children of the Elder Gods
I like Remedy. I want to go tell them that they're pretty. Frick, am I? Egg! I've been here yet. Nope. All right, Alan. An overlap of the dark place needed a push from both directions to manifest itself. Reality in our world eroded by repeated dark lore tied to a location and a counterpoint. A work of art, a horror narrative crafted in the depths of the dark place, connecting to the story on the other side to reach out through the weakened veil. A story of a lawman whose heart was cut out of his chest. Two corrupt men killed by their own twisted ambition. A haunted old woman drowned in a bathtub. Welcome. Twisted reflections on the other side of the mirror. Arcs stabbing through realities, amplifying the influence of the dark place. These elements working in conjunction made a trickle that became a torrent, a wormhole, a vortex, and the art, the map, Jesus. became the nightmare territory where the dark place encroached on our reality, a blanket over it, where they all overlapped. Are you memorizing this for the test chat? To twist and loop like a bad dream, remolding anything and anyone within its dark horror design. Another one of those lunch boxes. Nice. Obviously you're going to succeed or else you wouldn't be the hero. Duh. They're right. The game suddenly got very generous with those fragments. What does that note say? Two, five, four, seven. <gasps> Dr. Marmon and Dr. Marmon, here is the promised update on the project's first experimentations. The test items used were plastic animal figurines, teddy bears, toy cars, baby dolls. The icon iconographic nature of the test items was hypothesized to be beneficial for each of these research for these research pro purposes. Test results negative. I will continue testing with more advanced items and scenarios. No response from you is necessary. I have received your favorable review of my project proposal. Thank you. I need not remind you that my that my academic as well as recreational expertise in mythology, folk law, folklore, and writing will indeed tend lend the needed credibility to the project and both leading it and creating the testing material. Dr. Eugene Campbell, lead researcher, pa Department of Parafictional Research. Why does that name sound familiar? Cat spotted. I feel th bad for these guys. You think there's an achievement for touching every deer in the game? It does sound like Bureau stuff, doesn't it? Reality-altering effects discovered in the Cauldron Lake area utilizing fiction and art as a source. 
and manifesting the results into existence. The FBC's intent in this research project is to experiment with nursery rhymes here and after referred to as fiction in an attempt to recreate the conditions under which writing would become reality. The hypothesis is that there are two ways in which fiction affects reality, either by reflecting events that have come to pass but that are not known to their later creator, whose act of creation therefore becomes the catalyst for these past events after which they serve the, as the source of their own inspiration, or by the fiction itself being the initiating force in the present timeline using the creator as a conduit. In the experiment, we will create nursery rhyme text with a specific function and then use the depicted dolls and symbols as needed via a careful testing process with the f purpose of the story told in the fiction manifesting itself in real life. <laughs> a variety of combinations of all the dolls, symbols, and rhymes will be tested in order to collect large amounts of data with the hope that a pattern will appear. Methods will be adjusted in the te testing based on our results. Frig off, FBC! Toilets are so freaking huge. Well, like the bowl is so huge, but the actual like thing is so small. Large asses, tiny poops. This hero doll, wolf doll. This is creepy. FBC. S sites in Cauldron Lake, which finder station, streamside, and Cauldron Lake rental cabins. Hold on a sec. Jesus. Maybe I only have one more to go. Creepy dolls. Mysterious rhymes. No weirder than anything else going on, I guess. Witchfinder Station, Streamside, and Cauldron Lake Rental Cabins. It's actually kind of crazy, the extent of this. Of, like, how many different case files you're going to be filling in? Did they know about the FBC? At, at one point, the guy said FBC and she went the Federal Federal Bureau of Control, so I would assume so, yes. Think. I can see that. An email from the author of the rhymes. Dr. Eugene Campbell. The FBC is definitely playing with things they don't fully understand. <laughs> isn't that Metal kind of their thing? <laughs> like, isn't- doesn't that just define the FBC? <laughs> Hi, Swamp Tech! Yeah, th that's- that's their job! <laughs> These stashes could contain clues about the cult. Better keep an eye out for more. You think this is one of those games where if you just rush through the story, it's quite short, but if you want to go ahead and get all of these things, it's gonna take a while.
Ulfhip. Mm. Not everything. I started in here. I don't think I explored this bit yet. It doesn't look like there's really a thing in here. Duck! Isn't Jesse the current administrator? Another one of those rhymes. The hero, brave and strong, left home to fight a wrong. From the woods came the wolf so greedy and hungry that he ate what he found in the house without a host. The hero returned to find the thing she... She'd lost the thing she loved most. There isn't a home on here. <sighs> no. What if I just like trial and error it? Doesn't make sense. No, it doesn't. Doesn't look right. Maybe this means traveling? Yep. There we go. I have a weird feeling something's changed. What could have changed? What is this? Oh, wolfy footprints. That's scary. Jesus. Please don't attack me again, dog. Yep, first try. Oh. Another charm for my bracelet. Saves you from death, but ch shatters in the process. Time to never use that, because what if I need it? Ah, can't forget the dolls. Oh, yeah. I need them again. I actually wanted to go back for the dolls, but I, I went in the wrong direction. <laughs> and where did it say the last one was? Oh, it was the rental houses, wasn't it? I haven't been there yet, I don't think. Oh, right, so <laughs> I need to go find the stream site stash. Car, Anderson. How's it going down there? Holy shit, here. I've been fucking around for a long time. The parking lot. It took so long that the game was like, yo... Hey, you wanna, uh... You wanna come play the video game a little bit? Ow, 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 please stop. I don't understand what causes my flashlight to freak him out. There we go. Ow, please stop. Oh, Lord! Jesus Christ. Fucked me up. Batteries. Fantastic. Should have equipped the charm. Never. Yeah, the torch weirdly doesn't feel as satisfying to use as in, as in the first one. Sorry, as the first one did. So you said that the stash was somewhere back here. Not that. He 
it's a flashlight streamer, not a torch. Fuck you. Where's the stash, chat? There's no way... ...the viewer would have lied to me. Another lost <gasps> box. Viewer didn't lie to me! The cult is watching right now. Watch these nuts. What is that? I didn't see what it was. A dark substance appeared. Oh, here. I think for now... I'll go back to the car. And I'll get the rest of the stashes later, I think. Wait, could we go save? No, I'm sorry, Akari, you. What's your hardware? It's a very graphically advanced game. I do kind of want to do... What was the last nursery room? Oh, right. I remember. Hold on. Is... Witch's Hut, Fuse Box, Murder Site, Golden Lake Shore, uh, Cabin, Golden Lake Lodge, Radio Station, Majestic Hotel. Where... Where are the rental cabins? Wait, screwdriver? What? Oh, the rental cabins are here. Oh, they're on the other side of the car. Mm, okay. So can I go all the way around, maybe? Bye. This way? Yeah, if I go this way... Specs? It's below the stream. Um, Should be like the last little picture. It's the one with the ferret eating the motherboard. <laughs> Limes is mean to us. You like it. <laughs> this place is huge, actually. <laughs> Case to get back to. <laughs> no, I want to go to the campground. Fuck you, game. Wait, 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 wait. No, if it, wait, this is the correct way. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. <gasps> the squiggly path. Hmm. 
Your counter redeem also broke? What was the redeem you were looking for? If I had a problem with expo? No. I got my setup after the the sock voltage. Tomfoolery. Which motherboard am I using? I'm using the Gigabyte! Fuck, 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 fuck. Something... Hold on. <laughs> Gigabyte... AX... No. It's something pro AX. I can probably find out. Hold on. I'm looking. I'm looking. DX Diag, that's some bitch. I'm scared of tabbing the game. <laughs> she doesn't know her motherboard. Listen, I update my stuff kind of often. Hold on. Aorus Pro AX? That sounds about right, honestly. Aorus. Oh, it's the X670 Elite AX. There you go. Jesus, they're up to revision 1.3 now. God damn. What's this one? Okay, so I want to go this way. Yeah, Gigabyte for AM5 has been fairly solid. I don't know how the others are doing. This is gonna be locked, isn't it? Motherfuck. I need bolt cutters. Let's go find the Finnish guy. He's got bolt cutters. Just don't talk about Sweden anymore. Um, yeah, Gigabyte have been pretty good for uh, AM5. MSI have been really good. And AS Rock, weirdly, have been really good. I've heard that, um... Isus and one of the others has been a bit funny with, like, boot times and stuff, but they might have improved it since I, I was in the market. Would you have to change your motherboard if you wanted to change your CPU? It depends on the CPUs that you, that you have... CPU that you have and the CPU that you want to switch to. Because for some, there are shared sockets, but... Oftentimes not. What do you want to upgrade from and to? I think I get in from the back way. Nope. I have things to do. And this is not the right way. You ready to go? Can I come back here if I'm not? Mr. Wake, we're taking you back to our field office in Bright Falls. You can freshen up there, and then we'll talk properly. 9700 to a 9711 700k. I would say so, probably. You can check though, just Google the part. It'll hey, say Mom, which socket it needs. Before you see anything, I'm totally fine. Don't freak out. Dad shouldn't have even texted you. Logan? No one texted me. The 9700 What's is LGA1151. I'm totally fine. I slipped. That's all. God, it's not the end of the world. Put your father on the phone. Um, okay. Dad, it's Mom. Don't worry, hun. Logan slipped in the shower and bumped her head. She has a slight concussion, but I'm <gasps> keeping an eye on her. Lucky I heard her fall. She could have drowned. Jesus, David. Why didn't you call? I tried. It didn't go through. She's fine, really. 
But what about you? You sound stressed. No. It's yeah, different not. socket. Just weird case, that's all. Well, if you need a hint, my years of board game victories tell me Colonel Mustard did it. <laughs> I'll, I'll no, I'm listening. <laughs> Love you, Dave. Love you too, honey. Wanna say bye to Logan? No. Just tell her I love her. Bye for now. Wait, well, she legitimately doesn't. <laughs> Get fucked, Logan. <laughs> Why do they keep simultaneously drinking coffee together? I hate it. <laughs> Hi, Alan. Is there anyone you'd like us to reach out to, Mr. Wake? You've been gone a long time. No. No. If they'd be in danger, it'll come for me. Okay. Let's talk <laughs> about something else. Robert Nightingale. Do you know him? You were both here in 2010. The Dark Presence got him, back then. That's the last time I saw him. Thirteen years. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Tell us about the pages. You had what looks like a title page with you. Return. Is this the name of the story on these pages? The writer's name has been scratched out pretty violently. But your name can still be made out underneath. <laughs> scratched out. Yeah. Scratch. <laughs> okay. Did you write these pages, Mr. Wake? I'm trying to remember. It's 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 a crazy jumble, like a like a nightmare. I, An American nightmare? It doesn't, it doesn't make sense. Alan, you good? I remember. I remember. Goop. Am I gonna get to play Alan? This is the shittiest Doctor Who time vortex ever. with no memory of how I'd gotten Shut up, Alan! I'm listening! Was out of control. No! I didn't need another mugshot in the fucking tabloids. <laughs> Had I already done the show? Was that a recording? I got denied the old gods of Asgard. This is dumb. Hmm... Is that actually the poets over on this corner there? Uh, this must be an exciting time for you. Tell me, does it ever get old? So does what get old? 
publishing a new book. Are you okay there, my friend? You look like you've been cooped up in the writer's room for a few too many years. This is exactly how I feel. <laughs> you know, Wait, I forget. I the VA and the face different. The so he's having to, like, dub it? You left us on quite the cliffhanger. We've all been dying to know what it's not a lake, it's an ocean really means. You and me both. Well, our wait is over. Your new book, Initiation, hits the shelves tomorrow. What? That's exactly <laughs> what every reader will be asking. This book is mind-bending. It's so cerebral. I mean, how would you describe it? A, an auto-fictional thought experiment? A, a, a horror story? A postmodern detective story? Wait. This isn't right. I, I haven't written anything. He's so humble. Okay. You got me. Good prank. Very funny. But yeah, I sad to say, I, I, I've not written this. I, I'd remember if I'd written a book, right? Or Why is he dubbed? Because the face actor and the voice actor are different. <laughs> well played, man. That is spot on. Playing the role here. Pretending the world of the book overlaps our own? That's very meta indeed. You see, Initiation tells the story of a fictional writer named Alan Wake who is trapped in a nightmare, desperately trying to find the manuscript of a novel he has forgotten he has written. The book is set in New York, but it might not be New York at all. Mailbox Home Singers, thank you for the 16 months. Thank you, thank you. Guided by visions of a <laughs> looks so confused. Man. That's right. Alex Casey is in this book as well. Uh, well... I guess we'll just keep doing this the whole show. The joke's on me. But isn't that what you sign up for with auto fiction? No, but seriously, I found the the structure of the reality you build in the book fascinating. It reminded me of the Matrix. I mean, the writer is physically in his writer's room, trapped there, and he projects himself out to this dark dream of New York through the story he is writing. Uh, like astral projection. Did I get that right? Yeah. That's exactly right. Go on. I should be taking notes here. This is great stuff. Notes to that other Alan Wake in that room writing this as we speak? The dubbing makes it all very, like, weird. <laughs> wow. No, I, I, I wish you every success with your new book, Alan. I hope it's as successful <laughs> as your best-selling Alex Casey series. Initiation hits the shelves tomorrow. After this, I'm sure we'll all be eagerly awaiting the culmination of this hero's journey trilogy of yours. A book called Return, perhaps. <gasps> yeah, thank you for one of the strangest interviews of... He looks so confused. <laughs> all this talk of meta-narratives. have to expect them to disappear once they see them. I don't know why the TV is so quiet compared to the rest of the game. We return to video game. Hello? Hey. I'm losing it. Something's not right here. I needed to get home to Alice. Hello? What the hell was that interview? Some kind of joke? Initiation? I never wrote a book called Initiation. This felt like a bad dream. Could make a good horror story. I think I can get around there. Yeah, let's go out the lift area. <laughs> In between with Mr. Door. Old gods of Asgard. I love those guys. They're Old not gods here. Gods of Asgard. <gasps> that name sounded familiar. Yeah, it is. Six six five neighbor of the beast. Beep. <laughs> I 
I fucked up their guitar. Mr. Door. I was a mess. I had never heard of this talk show or Mr. Door before. None of it felt right. Was I losing my mind? <gasps> it's him! <gasps> Dr. Darling! Interpretation of Many Worlds by Dr. Casper Darling! <gasps> oh my god! I liked Casper, darling. He was great. Oh, look, it's Alan up there at the top. <laughs> yeah, that's what Alan Wakesby actually looks like. Input. One. 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 Shit. <laughs> Maxima Merg, thank you so much for the sub. Thank you, thank hey. you. I think I've been locked in. Anybody? Fuck. Now I have to find the code myself. Uh, one. Great. It's so goddamn dark. Protect the briefcase. Wait, what if it's 665? Uh oh. There was something here. A broken transmission I couldn't quite make out. Hey, look, it's me. What was that? A message? Oh, impossible to say. There was something in the studio with me. I had to get out. Open the door. Drowning man gasping for air. This place felt familiar. A ghost of a memory surfaced about riding here for countless days. Goal zero. <laughs> Same. A plot board for mapping out a story. On the index cards, the nightmare that just happened to me. A summary of the story so far. But other notes as well. Warnings. I had written them. I couldn't remember what it all meant. The name Scratch filled me with dread. I could trust these words. I had to act on them. You must write to escape. Get back to writing. Don't wanna. Word of writing. I had to write more. 
Kumbahan, thank you for the 66 months. Thank you, thank you. Tapa 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 tapa. I didn't remember much, but I knew my thoughts and ideas could manifest as reality in this dark place. I'd use my writing to project myself out of this room. Like a deep sea diver to go deeper and explore the depths of this prison for a way out. This room was my boat. Writing was my lifeline. I would start again at the talk show. <sighs> We're back again. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, you're too kind. Welcome back. Uh, we have a great show for you here tonight. And we'll treat all you Alex Casey fans out there. Alex Casey himself is here tonight. <gasps> Sam Lake, ladies and gentlemen. The actor who has given his face to the famous detective in the film series. Are we about to get, like, super meta here? here. Best-selling writer, the books, the films are based off. Let's do this! <laughs> what happens if I just try and leave? Nope. Okay, that's what I thought. Off we go again. Welcome back to the show. So, Alex, <laughs> as the uh, creator of the character, how do you feel about this? Sorry, what? <laughs> I know it can be an awkward question with the man sitting right next to you, but I mean, how do you feel about him in the role of Casey? Does he look the part to you? <laughs> he looks exactly like I always imagined Casey to be. It's uncanny. Thank you. That means so much to me. I'm a huge fan of your book. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> what's the problem, Alan? Because on more than one occasion, you voiced your reservations about the adaptations. Uh, it's not that. They're their own thing. They've gone with choices that are different from mine. I, I, it's so bizarre having him be the only person that's dubbed. I feel protective about my stories and these adaptations. I, uh, I don't know. I, I guess I just wish I could have been more involved. In Do you later has to fix sleep well, well? In that case, you won't have seen this either. We have a clip from the new film, Murder Case Case. <sighs> Should we roll it, or do you want to say something first? Yeah, I think it's a purposefully bad dub. Nah, just roll it. This city was an old scar that refused <laughs> to heal. The rain made it fester. It needed the sun, but there was only the night. I was tired. Insomnia covered me like a plastic film. I was watching the world through a rain slick window, my own reflection haunting the view. <laughs> I was trying to track down a missing writer. My only clue was a table lamp shaped like an angel, the only thing to shed light on this sordid mystery. <laughs> Great murder case, Casey. Great job, Sam. Very exciting and very meta. I'm looking forward <laughs> to seeing more. Wait, stop. What was that about a writer? About a lamp? <gasps> and we're back. Run. Children of the Elder Gods. I think I have to like change up the way, the way that I'm doing this, or do you think I just do the same thing again? <gasps> okay. We changing it up. Hmm. 
You think it's now 666? I hope it's 666. Oh! <gasps> five? Five, six, five? Alan. Help. Yeah, fuck that door. Said something about an angel lamp, right? Maybe I shouldn't have sprinted all the way through. Am I gonna have to do this whole thing again? We swear to God. Oh, nope. Hello. Sam. Janitor's office. Control? Not so much evil that not a bit of good as well. Not one without the other. <laughs> <laughs> good to see you. Hi. Hey, I, I can't seem to find my way out of here. Can you point me to the exit? <laughs> of course, Tom. The work will instruct its maker. I was gonna get something from the basement for you, but... You can get it yourself now. Uh, the more cooks, the worse the soup. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Have we met before? Are you trapped in the dark place too? You remember Ahti, the janitor. You can't be lost if you don't worry about where you are headed. So don't worry, Tom. The sun will shine even into a heap of twigs. Yeah, exactly. Just remember to turn on the lights. It won't take long when you get to work. What do you want me to get from the basement? And my name's Alan, not Tom. Yeah, yeah, but I got a bag of uh, man's. A man, but a man with a tool makes two, Tom. Agree? <laughs> and a man with a tool can build his own exit. It's in a shoebox in the basement where you left it. <laughs> He's so Same wise. In the Lord's purse. Here's the key. Thank you. I just look, look how good Alan's hair looks. Like his hair and his jacket look amazing. <laughs> I'm just admiring them. <laughs> I've been trying to find a way to escape the dark place. Any suggestions? He who mulls about his troubles is the prisoner of his troubles. It's not easy to get out. But don't you worry, Tom. The, the slight movement on uh, the janitor's hair as well is really good. I often think about it when I mop the floor and look into the puddle. Water is the memory of the world. Water finds its way. The janitor was a bit out there, but still a friendly face. I had to trust the basement would get me out of here. We learn more about what his deal is in the later parts of Control that I didn't do. Because I love him. Fuck me. Because I love him. You do? Okay, chat. What's his deal? Tron Sama, thank you for the 29 months. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so that's the basement. What happens if I intentionally don't go to the basement? Oh, this is my- my room. I see. Shortcut! Cool, cool, cool. Do 
Did you go back and play Alan Wake 1? I think you'd be less confused if you did. And Control actually seems fairly heavily related. More so than I expected, so it's neat. God, the lighting's so good. An old lamp and a shoebox. Was this what the janitor had left for me? Think. The lamp felt significant. A tool for bringing light to the darkness. I felt a magnetic pull between the lamp and the light overhead. Whoa! Oh! When the light jumped into my lamp. The whole room changed. What? Like something in a dream. What? Opening a way forward. The lamp was humming. The bulb glowed. It held the light now. What? Oh, look. Oh, but and then I put it away and it go. That's so cool. I want to see it in real time. And that's so awesome. Hey, Bales. Is that a cow? Nope. I felt another surge from the lamp. I could use it again. The glow in the <gasps> lamp went out, shifting the light in the room. The light carved out something Scathine, new. Scathine, thank you for the three months. Thank you, thank you. I needed to find another way uh -oh. out. Do you think there'll be a second control game? I'm honestly frightened of what Remedy continues to do, like, graphically. And in terms of meta-narrative. It's actually crazy. I can hear him again. My sense of direction is so bad. I'm already confused about where I am. <laughs> Wait, if I steal that, what exactly changes? What? No, that was that was always there, right? Oh, yeah, 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 because this is how I got through. Okay. So... Double-checking. There's nothing else in here. Yeah, no, no, no. This, this was here because this is how I got through the exit. And then I went up here. But there's got to be a reason why I can return the light to it here. Right? Okay, so that closes up. Or to take it from there? Maybe? But no, because I got out by putting or taking the light. I think. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hello? Oh.
Oh. Okay, no, I need to go get it. <laughs> oh. It's too dark. I can't see. Okay, so let's go grab this again. Yoink. And then we go through here. And I put the light in the thing. <gasps> Beep -boop. The dark place oh. wants to drown me. I'm losing myself. I have to fight it. I have to remember the clicker, the light switch. I lost it, but I have the lamp now. The lamp the switch was cut from. This place is a nightmare. Not real and yet more real than anything. The danger and the horror are real. It feeds off my mind. Twisting whatever it takes into psychotic reality. I'm trapped here. I write to escape. I've tried this many times, written countless stories, forgotten how many. I keep failing, but I must keep trying. I use the story to dive deeper. Every word. It's I splendid. Write thank you for the 41 months. Thank you. Thank you. I dive to the body to find the answer to the map, the key, the compass. But that's combined to form a door leading out. But how do you open a door that's not a door? At the bottom of an ocean that's not an ocean and a lake that's not a lake. <laughs> Alan's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Do we get music? Yeah, boy. Last hazard. Thank you for the 38 months. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I can see you there, but you don't see me anywhere. I'm right in front of you, and I'm right here on this one landing world. What are you looking at? Is it your face on the pane of glass? Cause somehow this window becomes a trap on this one landing world. Hi, DZ Day, how are you? You know, genuinely, I just need a, uh... Old Gods of Asgard... ...edition and I'll be happy. Okay, so I can't go through there if I do that. Give me a second. For me. Bro. <laughs> this game is so freaking gorgeous. Like, holy shit, look at it. God damn. It's so nice. <laughs> uh oh. Hello? Hello, Wake. What's up? 
Yes. Do you know who I am? No. No? Who is this? We'll get to that later. There are spies all over. Shadows. A sense of deja vu washed over me. Had I had this conversation before? Alan, listen to me carefully. Deja vu. I've Old had this conversation station, before. The subway. You need to go there. I'll call you again later. Make sure to pick up. Do I know you? I, I know you from somewhere. You've just forgotten again. We're in this together. Don't worry. I got it now. We've been working. Great. I I'm losing you. Hello? Hello? Convenient. The phone cord was making me very happy, yes. <laughs> Did Barry survive Alan Wake 1? Casey! The man had said Caldera Street Station. I had to go there. I'm actually, like... The, look at the freaking puddles. Look at the puddles, chat. <laughs> I'm such a graphics whore. <laughs> Reflection. Oh, that's a taken. Maybe I shouldn't be dicking around with Fuck. that. Okay, don't mind me. Just passing through. Shadows stirred like there was someone there, but there was no one. I wanted to keep it that way. Uh-oh, it's loading me up with supplies. That means there's going to be stuff soon. It's, like, partially ironic. I think, you know, it's a little, like, it's, it's a little bit of both. Like, I do think the game is absolutely gorgeous. Like, all of the real-time reflections are fucking insane, but also it's kind of funny to be like, Look at the puddles, chat! Call him A, call him B. Probably don't want to go into the goop, but I'm gonna touch it with my face. Touch goop. Oh. The city was not real. Oh. I was limited to the confines of the dream. Ah! 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 I'm okay. The Caldera Street Station sign was there, but the entrance was missing. I had to make it appear. I mean, I Maybe honestly I didn't even the see the, the, the station sign. Station entrance. Time for light. Hey, what's that? Ahead. 
Is this the way it was on the page? What the <gasps> oh, hey. We met at Door's show. Alan Wake, the writer. I'm Alex Casey. Yeah. Looking into a murder. Come on, what? What is this? There's a piece of evidence, a manuscript of a novel. You wouldn't know anything about it? A manuscript? What manuscript? I need to see it. Rumor had it the manuscript contained the details of the murders. A murder cult was following the story to commit their <laughs> gruesome acts. Was Wake their leader? Had he written it? How far would he go to create a perfect work of art? Or would he be the next victim? <laughs> Stay here. No, wait! I need a gun! No chance. Is he okay? Well, presumably he's fine because, like, Casey. Damn it. you know, this is before the part that we just played with Saga. I remember dying in this alley in a dream I had. No. He was just gonna keep killing me here, loop by loop. You're not gonna get what you want. Don't write. Don't write. Don't write. You know. You know. You don't really want to know. You're going to get what's coming to you. The presentation on this game is insane. <laughs> like all of the crazy stuff that keeps happening, it's just like, what? <laughs> this was an echo of the books I had written for years. Picking up Casey's gun felt like I was assuming the role of the detective. Yoink! I had a light now. I needed to get back to the subway station entrance. Fix words of fix words. <laughs> there was something hidden here, a phrase repeated over and over. The words resonated with meeting. Words of Had power. Huh. Words of power can be used to make Wake stronger. You can assign them in the white in the writer's room? What? What? <laughs> what? Help! Help! <laughs> Oh, no, I'm gonna learn. <laughs> I'm gonna learn out, yes. Increases maximum health by 15%. Increases maximum health restored in safe havens by 30%. Restores 50% of max health when a new word of power is discovered. Huh. Words of gun, <laughs> words of war, words of stuff, words of aid, words of action, words of lamp. <laughs> uh, no, they didn't have anything like this. I'm assuming I have to actually use words of fix. Hmm. Which one do you think, chat? God rays is kind of funny. You like wellness? Hmm. 
Yeah, I guess it depends on how often I find safe havens. I could just wait. But more max health is nice. More max health is like the basic bitch one. Oh! Oh, I see. It's like increment. Okay, cool. Nice. You know what's frustrating? There have been so many games this year where if it had been any standard year, that would have been my game of the year. How the fuck am I supposed to choose now? We've had Alan Wake, we've had the Cyberpunk 2.0, we've had Hi-Fi Rush, we've had Oh god, it's it's we we, we we've had we've had Baldur's Gate. It's <laughs> I don't know. I don't know anymore. Resident Evil 4 Remake? Ah! It doesn't end! <laughs> We've had Liza P! <laughs> Wait, does this go around on the loop? It does. Yeah, cool. Okay. With the alley in darkness now, restless shadows block my way. You get fucked. Stop me. With the gun and flashlight, I could fight back. Oh. I could use the light to open the subway entrance now. It's funny because the game was like, whoa, you found the subway entrance. I legitimately, I didn't. I actually don't know where it is. <laughs> Good job, streamer. You found the entrance. Nah. Might do a little bit of exploring as a treat. Creepy. Oh, God, there's so many. Shit, shit, shit. <laughs> Same. thing? A thing? A thing! <gasps> a word of action! Let's have a look. It increases damage dealt to enemies in close proximity, makes Alan 20% harder for enemies to detect, decreases damage received from darkness projectiles. Love is a verb. Love is a doing word. It 
What's up, beach alert? Thank you for the two months. Thank you, thank you. Mmm. Ah! Bye. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. I needed to find a way around that fence. Da 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 da. I saw briefly a sign to use a light. Oh, there we go. Is this is this a subway? No, because it goes up. Subway don't go up. Well, whatever. Time for exploring. Chibi, this game's fucking incredible! Find Alice. Find Alice. Oh yeah, friends, it was Chippy's birthday. I'm completely fucked by time zones right now, so I don't remember if it's still Chippy's birthday, but happy birthday, Chippy! Oh, I'm running out of torches. That's not good. Or batteries for my torch, even. Never mind, got two. I'm down, Alan. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Run! 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 Whoop! Align the echo by approaching it from a specific... What? about Alex Casey for years. Something lingered here. A line from a half-forgotten story. Mm, not entirely sure. Oh, I just need to go closer. To wash away the sins of this city. <laughs> but some sins, the evidence of the crimes committed, could never be erased. <laughs> Not by the rain, or any amount of therapy from Dr. Jack Daniels. It remained bruises under my skin, like tattoos. Bruises in my soul. Scar tissue on my heart. The rain never stopped falling and I never stopped drinking da, 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 da. what's up that's me bye Uh oh. Alan sleep. Alan, more like Alan sneak. <laughs> oh. The shoebox can store your items. Oh, thanks. I'm good. Sleep. 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 
sleep? Oh, I'll stop. <laughs> Hello. Oh. <gasps> hey, Alan. Tim! You snuck up on me. Sorry. Have we met? <laughs> Memory problems again, huh? Yeah, we've met. Tim Breaker. We've shared notes. Hey, I've made some progress on the map if you want to take a look. You still haven't found my mystery man, though. Who's this mystery man? Oh, it wouldn't be much of a mystery if I knew. <laughs> All I have is a name. Yeah, it's it's Bobby Drake. Orland Door. The talk show host? No. No, that doesn't sound like him. The guy has many disguises, but a talk show host? No. I'll keep looking. You're making a map. Trying to. It's hard to map a dream, though. I keep ending up in unexpected places. I find interesting things like those strange markings that react to the light. But never the one thing that I'm looking for. Feel free to check the map out. Oh, I've been stockpiling supplies while I poke around. If you find a stash, take anything you need. I appreciate the help. I do really appreciate and slightly more understand now why when he picked up the pages and the lights went off and he kind of just went, oh shit, here we go again in his demeanor. This man is used to some nonsense. <laughs> See you around, Alan. Hi, Tim. Did I do anything? Actually, did I t interact with this at all? Hi, Tim. <laughs> well, that's my crazy wall. I'm just trying to make sense of things. Don't I was me. at the morgue. any day. I was about to give evidence to the FBI. Door transported me here to this dream reality. Why? Who, where, why, motive, why me? Missing time, no memory until now. Have I always ended up here? Will I forget when I get out? Abducted, aliens, door, UFOs, polyhedrons? Dreams, me but not me. Others I know, yet they are different. The red-headed woman. Okay, bye, Tim. <sighs> You think it is? It, it might be her. Sounds right, actually. No. Alan snooze. Why is that timing out? It's annoying. No! Word of lamp! <gasps> Stores 5% of max health when using flashlight boost on hostile shadows. Provides 10% chance to stun enemies on flashlight boost. 25% chance to regain a flashlight charge on killing an enemy. Ooh. I think I want lucky strike. Because that just means that I can just perpetually... Yeah, I can just perpetually... Lamp murder. Ooh, 50% for 2 and then presumably 100% or maybe 75 for 3. That would be nice. Lost. Okay. <laughs> Kika! Thank you so much for writing! Welcome, welcome everybody! Hello, hello! Is Kika feeling better? I saw that Kika was not well. Did you, did, did you guys help her feel better? <laughs> Welcome everybody. Get get sunk. What were you doing? She's still sick. Oh, is it like Concrud or something? Yeah, good to see you. Welcome, welcome everybody. My name is Limes. I am also known as Limeu. I am a variety VTuber. Today we are Alan Waking, and it's so goddamn pretty. It's like obnoxiously pretty. Where the fuck am I? Alan, wake up, sheeple. 
It's super fun playing Alan Wake. You should play it, Giga, because eventually your chat just deteriorates into... Do you know who what Alan Wake would be called if he was a baker? He'd be called Alan Bake! <laughs> it's... it's... it's awful. <laughs> they never stop. <laughs> Hmm, I don't know where I'm going from here. Would I still love Alan Wake if he was a worm? Don't you fucking start with me. Don't you do it. Wait, F? Oh, I can steal this car? Oh, shit! Fuck me. <laughs> oh, 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 oh! I have made a terrible decision! Help! <laughs> help, 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 help! Alerta! Alerta! I alerted the entire goddamn city. Help! Chased by shadows. Okay, I should be, I should be okay in my happy place. It's fine. I'm fine. If Alan Wake was a thief, it'd be Alan Take. Ah! <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> If Alan Wake was frightened, he'd be Alan Shake. <laughs> uh, okay, so I have a light right now, right? Can't tell. Uh, it doesn't actually look like I do. Chat, where's the subway? <laughs> Somehow I've managed to not find it. Underground. <laughs> I will turn this goddamn stream. Oh fuck! Around. He said, "Hey, I found it like here." If Alan Wake was a reptile, he'd be Alan Snake. <laughs> Back the way I just came. Like how far? How long ago? Like. Back that way? Or back this way? You can't just say yes! I gave you two options! <laughs> okay, this way? Alright, let's go. <laughs> Wait. Of. F. <gasps> I found it! How linear is this game, though? Like, if I decide I, I want to, to do the objective... Go deeper inside. Okay, I can do that. If I if I want to do the objective, can I come back and completion it, completionist it later? Secret Egret, thank you for the thousand bits, holy moly. If Alan Wake was a mortician, he'd be Alan Wake. <laughs> yep. Hmm. All right. Let's try over here first. I know, like, I'll get that light when I'm ready. Fuck off! Oh wait, didn't we already go? Oh, lordy! Okay, I made a bad decision. I'm leaving. Hi! Alan Wake had a boat, he'd be driving it on. <laughs> Alan Wake. <laughs> mm -hmm. Neat. actively been working on uh, this game out of curiosity because it's incredible the gates to the platform were closed I had a ticket 
There's no way they only worked on this game for two years. Get out of here with that shit. No, 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 the, the, the thing, the thing, Alan, the thing! Insert subway pass. But you know, thank you for giving the gift to Sucta Megasaur. Thank you, thank you. I like how the vast majority of Alan Wake puns that I'm catching in chat are from the Giga raid now. <laughs> oh, let me give her one more shout out as well. I sat here and complained about, like, my chat doing something, and Giga's chat was like, alright, bet. <laughs> Something about the station platform felt significant. It would work in my writing, but I needed more. Something lingered here. A half-forgotten memory. An echo. I... don't know how to tell if I'm getting the echo better or worse. I think... When it freaks out like that, that's better. Something was here. A vision about to reveal itself. I'm I'm trying I to so look at it hard. From the right angle. <laughs> you can see who is part of a raid, yeah. Do it right, streamer. I don't understand the mechanic. If they updated this game, it would be Alan Remake. Hey, that that, that already exists. We'd have to be Alan Remake too. I have no idea how to make this thing. Oh, oh! FBI agent had come here before me on the trail of a murder Found it. cult. He'd gone missing, presumed dead. The cult was leaving me clues to follow, connecting the dots from one murder to the next, inviting me to draw an obscene picture on the city map. Caldera Street Station. The name made me think of the exit wound of a bullet. I had a flash of inspiration. The ghost of my fictional detective. A story thread I could use in my writing. You've discovered your first plot element from an echo. You can rewrite it into reality on the plot board. <laughs> What? <laughs> I had a story thread. I would put them together, write them into my Select story, the FBI agent plot element and place. activate it with Enter to rewrite reality in the Caldera Street Station scene. Uh, uh huh. <gasps> the, place. the story rang true. I was making progress. The dark place reacted to my story. The way into the tunnels was no longer blocked. I wrote my way out of a bind. Good job, me. Do not enter or cross tracks. You can't tell me how to live my life. I'm gonna lick the tracks. I've always had a vivid imagination, but this dream unsettled me. It was wild and dark and weird even by my stash standard. So yes, it began with a dream. Is that a quote? I recognize that. You think you can play with people's lives and kill them when it, you think it adds to the drama? You are in the story now and I'll make you suffer. You think you can just make up stuff? 
Stephen King had been a source of inspiration to me. I thought about all the inanimate objects that had come to life in his books. No one is safe in a good horror story, certainly not the protagonist. That's what makes them fun. This was anything but. The darkness could possess anything and it was getting closer. I had never been this glad to see the sun rise. I had a couple of hours to get to the coal mine. That's from the first game, right? Identity theft is on the rise. There's no closing the door on past sins. <gasps> the Fed had glimpsed into the maw of darkness. It swallowed him whole. Can I have that pipe? The tracks led into the tunnel. That was my way forward. In a horror story, the victim keeps asking why, but there can be no explanation, and there shouldn't be one. The unanswered mystery is what stays with us for the longest. Or what is what stays with us the longest, even. I thought Bright Falls was in, in Maine. Lost. No. Oh shit, the that's... The blood trail continued deeper into darkness. Go away. Following a typical nightmare pattern, I was late desperately trying to reach my destination, a lighthouse for some urgent reason I couldn't remember. I'd been driving too fast down a coastal road to get there. Lost her. I thought for a second I was gonna say you lost the game. <laughs> Quick save and a manual save. Wait, I'll put it here. Deputy Mulligan tuned Thornton's chatter out. He didn't think writers were particularly useful people, and a huge manhunt for one stuck him as, struck him as idiotic, especially, certainly not worth the missed opportunity for coffee and pie. It wasn't even clear what the man had done except run from them at a trailer park. Mulligan knew he wasn't alone. The sheriff's patient with the, red, with the Fed was running out. Night Springs doesn't exist. It's a fictional town from the t fictional town from the TV show I used to work on. It was any place USA, a place we used to as a backdrop for whatever strange story we had that week. One of the stories I wrote for the show involved a man and the Champion of Light fighting his evil double, the Herald of Darkness. Don't write. Don't like that. Nope. 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 Find Alice. Did you see the word, f the f a fuse box with the word British on it? Ugh. Ooh. Let's go up first. I actually just learned the Spanish words for left and right the other day, and I've already forgotten them. A word of aid found. 
Pen flares area of effect, effect of the trauma pads, effect duration of painkillers by one second. Yeah, I think it means I didn't properly learn them. I was introduced to them! Derecha? Yeah, that one. And izquierda? Tunnels were a maze. The blood trail led me on. Hmm. I need to find light. I'll be back. Why does Snuffy have so many crying emotes? In fairness, I have like five of them. <laughs> Got like Lime's hands, Lime's sob, Lime's cry. Like Lime's too sad, something like that. I cannot judge Snuffy for the sadness. Lime's feels, if that counts. Cult of the word. Another place to use in this story. I needed to search the tunnels for further visions. Inspiration for the story that would lead me deeper. On your scene, go to the plot board to rewrite reality in the collapse puzzle. Yeah, I will. Oh, you're you're not gonna stop me or I let me let me go anywhere else. A new setting. Uh, single plot element can be used in multiple scenes. Select like the FBI agent plot element. I changed the story, and with that, the dark place changed. No, no, I did, but I had some stuff the to do. The agent had come here looking for answers. I'm busy. All we found was a fate worse than death. I need a light. Can I take that light? Oh, it's so close. There's a light down there. Oh wait, that's the safe room light, isn't it? I don't think I can steal the light from the safe room. <laughs> I guess I will hope that there is a light further on and I can come back. Blood sacrifice. Anyone who gets involved with the cult, they're next. I heard their leader is this famous writer, Alan Wake. Their unholy motherfucking messiah. Sounds like a load of bull. Upscaling good light. If I played this in native 4K, I'd probably be getting like 20 frames or something. I could upscale it from probably 1440p if I wasn't streaming, but because I'm streaming, I have to go from slightly lower down. Light? Light? Light! Yoink. My light now. Another echo lingered here. Wait! A source of inspiration. No, I can't get back! Oh, you bitch! You fuck! No! My light! Thank you for the 19 months. Thank you. Thank you. Word. Word. No, no. 
Mm, yeah, that sucks. can help me man <laughs> what do you know there's more than it does good line it looks great the word the murder cult used these tunnels for their ritual sacrifices they say the cult reenacted the murders in alan wake's crime books the wake was even involved somehow under a false identity mr scratch which is of course a nickname for the devil himself it was disturbing finding myself in the story this way but i was desperate and it felt right for the story. Uh. The plot element I found would drive the story forward. We can go this way. <laughs> God damn it. Ow, my face. Hey, fuck you. fine. Do I have a light right now? I think I do. Fuck. The water was gone. By water. The way forward was open. Someone is humming. So wait, question. Could I have gone back to that other section and replaced the FBI agent plot device with something else? <gasps> hey, Alan. Hi, Tim. Tim Breaker. In case you don't remember again. I know, Tim. I'm remembering more now. It's good to hear, man. How's your search for Mr. Door going? It's not great. This dream we're in. Putting a lot of roadblocks I'm not somewhere. humming. The sketch you have does look like the door I know. The talk show host. All I know is the door has something to do with what's happening to me. And he knows that I know. He's like some sadistic mastermind torturing me. So you think this is a dream? I'm not ruling it out. You know, my dreams have always been incredibly vivid. They feel real until the second I wake up. You know, in the dreams, I'm often someone else, a different person with a different name, living a different life in, in a different world. It's alternate realities, maybe. But certain things don't change. Like door. Uh-huh. Anyway, I'm gonna steal your map. E. With this. So dark. What is this place? A dream feels like it. Not real. No place. Every place. All places. Any place. Now New York. Not NYC. Away to other places. Is door the gatekeeper? Or trying to get somewhere. Everywhere. Door, gate, portal, port, opening, access, window. <laughs> is Tim okay? Would I be okay? No, probably not. So wait, what happens if I go back through the water? Collapsed tunnel, FBI agent. So if I go to the collapsed tunnel board and then do murder cult, 
scene had changed. Yeah, it did. Oh. Oh. I could imagine this murder cult performing their macabre acts beyond the collapsed tunnel. The cultists laid the Casey novel onto the altar with reverence. Their twisted body. This game is fantastic. Yes, the atmosphere is insane. The humor is really funny, and it's like it's 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 just it's just really 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 well put together. I go forward. What the fuck, let me on. Can I steal this back or do I drown? Ah. I see. Why is it that whenever I'm not in there, he just like... The humming sounds a little bit insane. Oh, 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 oh. Maybe he didn't see me. He didn't see me! <laughs> Alan Wake, no. Stuck in a loop. Agent Nightingale didn't want to die, be in Bright Falls. Those little communities revolted him and he didn't like the trees or the coffee. He now knew the impossible horrors. Sorry, that impossible horrors, horrors lurked behind the storefronts and smiles. He desperately wanted to turn the car around and drive until he passed out or ran out of road and booze. But he had a job to do. He had a rider to catch at any cost. Mr. Randolph liked Rose, the little smile she had, how she was still sweet when life had tried so hard to make her better. It wasn't any of his business what she did in her trailer, but those strangers, the writer and his smart-ass sidekick, looked like trouble. They'd been in there for hours, way past her normal bedtime. He reached for the phone and called the sheriff's station. Uh, Cynthia Weaver worked hard, following her obsessive rituals. Sometimes fighting them, always giving in to them in the end. She hunted the ha haunted the halls of Bright Falls' abandoned power plant. She was preparing defenses and supply lines for the war she knew would come. The war between the forces of light and darkness! Yeah, that was from the first- Oh, fuck! Surprise, motherfucker! Yacked. You are a shadow on the floor, and you're gone. Okay, bye. supplies I'm just making a manual save oh my god no oh no she's saving the game oh god she's going to the menu ah! <laughs> oh no I'm very sorry I would honestly do an extended stream today because I'm having such a fun time but I have to travel tomorrow I I'm looking to still stream tomorrow, but I may be late. Like, m maybe like a couple hours late, but I will do a shorter stream tomorrow. I decided against like just shifting my days around because I was feeling kind of tired anyway. Um, but hopefully, yeah, I should get home and be able to do a shorter stream tomorrow. So please keep an eye on socials for when I will be live. It shouldn't be too bad. I think I should be home 
around like an hour after I usually start, but I will let you guys know as soon as I know. But thank you very, very much for being here for this. I had a fantastic time. I love this game so much. <laughs> I've been so, so excited for Alan Wake. Um, and I'm really, really glad that I finally get to play it. So thank you for being here for it. Um, if you would like information on when I'm live, please check out the, ch uh, please follow the channel or check out my socials. If you would like access to the archives, please go check out my YouTube. Thank you again if you came over, uh, with the raid and you're still here. I appreciate that very much. And if you are one of my regular viewers, then you get, you guys know that I love you. Um, for now, I'm gonna send you over to another streamer, however. And let's see who we can raid today. How many people are currently playing Alan Wake? Ah, <gasps> Skew's still alive! I'm gonna raid her really quick before she goes offline again, because she often finishes before I'm actually able to raid her. So I'm gonna send you guys over to Skew Chan. Skew Chan is doing a subathon and she's currently playing uh separate ways, it looks like. So please go say hi to her for me. I think she's actually just ending her subathon. So yeah, that's exciting. Please go say hi to her for me. Thank you so much for hanging out. I hope you have a wonderful evening wherever you end up, and that I see you guys again soon. Thank you, everybody. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.